Hello. How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. How's your week? Hello, hello. You don't cabin pie? Enter pals? Hello, hello, hello. Let's get serious. What's getting serious? Hang on, I need to do that first. I don't want to pings my Discord. The Ripper already exists. <laughs> what? What is this for? Oh, the thesis. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's the progress. It's getting there. It's serious. Uh, so how? Uh, there's an empty one. Shit. I should take this out. God damn it. Oh, I'll put it over here. It's fine. If you hear a smash, that's what that is. <laughs> um. So yeah, so uh, how's everyone's week? Hopefully it was swell. Um, I did a little bit of work on uh, on titler stuff. Um, I think it was this week that I did. I, I took a bunch of pictures of the of the boards. I can't remember. I honestly don't remember what it was. I think it was this week. Um, it had to have been this week because I got this last week. Um, my phone camera is garbage though. Um. Well, I'm probably actually going to be getting a, like a real proper camera that I've needed for a while now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I have started to trace out some of the stuff and reverse engineer some of it. Um, I got one of these things, a little uh, chip reader thingamajigs. Pain in the ass to get working, by the way. Royal pain in the ass. Um, haven't been able to, su to successfully dump... The ROM yet. We might try again later tonight. We'll see. I don't know. That's not, not that's not what we're starting with though. Um But uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pick up where we left off with uh study box stuff tonight, I think. Um This topic is very specific. Aren't these topics usually very specific? Design and, and implementation of a just in time compiler for small talk. <laughs> My professor, let's give it as general as possible so we can pivot if you get stuck. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're laser focused and all this. All right. Nice. Um. <laughs> um. All right. So we've, we've got, we've got, uh, we've gotten, what, 80? 80. 54 uh, opcodes in. Byte codes, opcodes, whatever the hell it is. Um, I'll call them opcodes. Why not? Uh, out of 119, so we're not even halfway there yet. Um, so we've got a ways to go. Um, and uh, yeah, again, like like uh, like last time, I don't I don't plan on um, digging too far into the specifics. A lot of the stuff, um, but as long as I get like an over overall idea of how a thing works and its arguments and all that kind of crap. Just I'll be happy. Epic! How you doing? Welcome. Thank you for the 55 yeah, months. Another month of subscription to the Zorkenheim. <laughs> That's right. Do a movie night. No. I have I I I am so tied up with all this shit right now that I just I just can't. I just I just can't. I <laughs> I just I can't. Um maybe eventually, but not not anytime soon, that's for sure. How how was your week though? Ho hopefully we'll swell. Bridgewater, hello, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I need to turn that audio off. On, it's like, give me a sec. Oh, well, you can't even hear it really. It's just me. Audio, you know, disable that crap. I'm gonna wait for this to get into part of the tape stuff, and then we'll pause it, and then ah, yeah, that's fine, right? Yeah, that's probably fine there. All right, the bugger. Where were we? Where? Um, so normality for a bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dare I ask? Dare I ask? Oh, these are all Saturday. Oh, okay. Um, anyway. Uh, right. So, last one was that one. Next one is this one. Medi- Oh, no! Well, I hope everything, uh, uh... 
works out. Goodness. I broke in the house again. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I hope that I hope that works out alright. That 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 stuff's never fun. Some value for some values of normal at least, right? <laughs> Uh, the more important fixing a family and company instead of watching movies and, and enjoying life. Yeah. Imagine enjoying life instead of fixing a mistake. That, uh, <laughs> mistake is right. Fixing the mistake is right to people. Yeah. Um. So it has started to, to turn around a bit. My. The manager from Orlando. I no longer report to her. I don't have to care what she thinks. Because her opinion is irrelevant now which is nice um i report directly to the new cto which is nice he's got his head screwed on correctly it seems um he uh he shares my views on using linux instead of windows which was sure okay fine yeah let's go um he agrees that this GMC node-based bullshit is the wrong way. Um, so we're not doing that. Um, I suggested... Well, so he, he comes at me and goes... Well, not, he, he, he suggests to me um, Python. He, want, he, he asked if I knew Python. I'm like, yeah, I, sure. I don't like it. But I can work with it. And he's like, well, it's, it's, it's dynamic. And it's, it's, and it's not... It's it's not compiled, and I like that. I'm like, well, hang on. That's why. That's one of the reasons I don't like it is because it is not compiled. Actually, we do bulk processing of data. I want something compiled. Well, what do you suggest then? I'm like, so, so there's this language. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you've heard of it or not. It's called Go. The fucker didn't say no, and he's like, all right, I'll have a look at it. What? Huh? <laughs> so that might happen, which would be neat. Yeah. I don't give me a job where I can work remotely. Sorry. It's a sinking ship. You can just prolong the inevitable. Um, so these guys are in high enough positions uh, that they have the potential to, un, to, to stop the syncing. Good example. So there's this piece of sh software that we have. It's called Primac. It's a piece of shit software. It does inventory management shit, right? Bog standard, like, we have X boxes of paper kind of bullshit, right? Like, really simple stuff. Oh, we take a box. We took a box of paper. We use that for this job. Take it off the inventory. That kind of thing, right? Like, any any company that has stock, has... An inventory of anything has inventory management uh, software, right? Like, this is not um, specific to our industry. Like, out remotely, right? Um, this guy takes one look at it and he goes, What the fuck is this? Number one, everything's wrong. Like, all the numbers are wrong in this, in this, in this software. None of it's right. Um... Also, you're doing it backwards. So we're trashing the software. We're getting rid of it. Fuck you. Mind you, this is software that the CEO loved for some brain dead reason. He went to her and goes, no, we're getting rid of this software. It's going away. I'm not asking. It's going away. And somehow got her on board with it. I'm concerned I <laughs> He's stayed. Yeah. Something else happened this week, too, that I was stunned by. But, like, in a good way? So, for over a year, uh, they've been talking, the, 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 the VP has been talking about bringing in this other piece of software that does magic, basically. Handles a lot of the shit that, that um, a, a bunch of our different programs do, right? A bunch of different programs that we license from other vendors, right? Print queue bullshit and all that kind of crap. Um, and oh, and 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 the VP was like, "Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna do this and this and this and this, and it's gonna be perfect. And it's, we don't have to do anything." And I'm like, "I don't believe you." 
at all. No, I'll be fine. All right, can I be brought into the conversation? No, I don't think you're. It's it's ready for you to be brought in yet. You'll you'll be brought in when you need to be brought in. I'm like, I disagree, but sure, fine, whatever. Fast forward to this guy. I had told him before that like, you know, I wasn't being included in any of these talks. The one person that knows how shit moves in the in the company, right? He came up to my office the other day. <laughs> so I I always had the lights off in my office, right? And he's like, "Come out of the dark and into the light. Come over to the conference room." Sure. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Walk into the conference room. It's the, it's a meeting with the vendors of this thing that we bought. Apparently, he actually finally brought me into the conversation. He brought me into the loop. How long does it take? Uh, does it take to? How long does it take to take inventory? Um, not very long, but the system that was keeping that inventory is, was wrong, and no one updated it correctly. So, uh, it was perpetually wrong. Always. Period. Uh, I just can't imagine how much CTR is supposed to fix the mismanagement of at least 30 years before everything burns down. Oh, he is fucking hardlining some shit. Um, next week, everyone's going to Office 365. Uh, <laughs> we are getting teams. He's already on teams. I don't have it yet, but, yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's actually getting things that I've been asking for, for years, um, which is nice. It's real nice. In fact, the, one of the meetings, he, uh, uh, um, one of the first meetings I had with him in person, he had a list of like the servers that were in my location. And, um, one of them was, or, or yeah, he had that up on screen or something like that. And, uh. Uh, we have a problem with keeping old data. It's just ra in random ass fucking places, right? And he's like, so, okay, so what servers, like, you know, keep that? I'm like, oh, this and this and this and the Blue Arc and the Hitachi or whatever, right? And he's like, no, no, no. Head of IT said you don't have those here. It's only in, in Florida and New York. I'm like, no, hang on. Unless he took them while I wasn't looking, we have those here. He's like, that's not what he, to he told me. I'm like... Cool. Last I was in there, those machines were in the rack. He goes, all right, let's get up and let's have a look. Sure. I will bring you right into the room. Go into the room, sure enough, they were still in the rack where I thought they were. There's one, there's another. He goes, yeah, well, shit. Looks like they are here. What do you know? He's like, yeah, I thought something was, was a little weird. Walk back to his office. He calls the head of IT right then and there. And he's like, why did you tell me that they didn't have this stuff? I looked at it. Why are you lying to me? Basically is what he said. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. I kind of like the guy so far. Okay, uh, it's better than um, Office 2010, which is what a bunch of the computers had. Um, and fucking go to anywhere or go to meeting, which is dog shit, by the way. Can't fight people? Oh, you most certainly can. In fact, I, I'm hoping he fires someone on my team. Um, not, a, not anyone I've talked about on stream, but this guy's a useless person. Um, I've had to redo his work um, numerous times this past two weeks. And it's really frustrating. Uh, was he lying or ignorant? Uh, both are bad, but in different ways. If he was lying, he was trying to cover it up with ignorance or miscommunication. Because he's like, oh, no, no, no. I meant they had no SANS. They have hard... They have those servers there. Okay, so... The hardware itself is not physically a SAN, but it's storage. That's, that's, huh? I'm sorry, CEO and head of IT. Yeah. Um, there is a new CEO. They're, 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 they're uh, they brought him on to take over the, the current CEO, but I don't think a CEO can fire, a CTO can fire a CTO. Um, Head of IT though? Yeah. I honestly really hope he fires this guy. The head of IT. Not 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 that guy. The guy above him. 
because uh, he's a moron. Um, straight up moron. In fact, so there's one data processor in my location. Down in Florida, they've got like a, a team of data processors. They got one in my location. Um, and uh, uh, at one point, we had um, asked for her to get a laptop so she could run some stuff from home. Everyone at the plant was agreeing agreeing to it. I had thought that the um, uh, uh, the uh, what's it? The plant manager had denied it. Turns out he wasn't the one that denied it. It was the the, the IT director. He denied it. CTO made it straight. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm getting this girl a laptop. That's what's happening. <laughs> How's Arky doing? Uh, did he have to extinguish the fire again since last time? Oh, he's always extinguishing some fires um, out there on the on the floor. Yeah, there. So those printers that he 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 runs every night, uh, they're gonna be moving those uh, within a year. So we they were just installed six months ago, uh, and they're gonna be moving them to another corner of the room because they want a bigger uh, mail inserter that's gonna go where the current printers are, because um, it's too big for the place that the uh, the old one was taken out of. Yeah, when is there not a fire, right? Um, that and uh, our big and Pika roll printer we're getting rid of. Oh, literal fire. No. No no more literal fires. <laughs> um, did they ever remove those uh, those endline printers? Yes, they did. They did uh, a few months ago. Um, but uh, so the big roll printer, that thing is end of life this the end of this year. We need to... We, that needs to be out of the building by the end of this year. Uh, so that's going to happen, um, whether we like it or not, because Xerox is not supporting it anymore. We're dumping Xerox. We're getting rid of Xerox. They're, they're all going fucking brother, I think. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if any of you know us, but I hate that company with a fucking passion. Not brother? Brother? Uh-oh. I think it was brother. Or no, maybe Canon. Maybe it was Canon. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Actually, might have been Canon. Oh, brother, how art thou? <laughs> Um, at any rate, um, the ones we're going to be getting, uh, aren't garbage, uh, allegedly. Allegedly. We'll see how that actually, like, pans out or whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, allegedly they won't be garbage. We'll see. At the very least, they'll still, still be supported. No. Yeah. So still been redeemed first. Hey, don't jump, Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Every single time I heard about brother was not in a good way. Yeah, well, Xerox is shit, so... Lateral movement at the very least. I was once Shannon Xerox was pulled on that company. I'm not surprised they want to dump them. Main question if there's anyone else they can re re realistically go to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Do they? I don't know the models, names for any of these stupid things. What is UV gel? Oh, it ain't those. I I, I don't know the name, the, the, the model of these stupid things. Um. But uh, but yeah. So apparently, at his last company, um, they used to have Xeroxes, and they swapped over to uh, yeah, I think it was Canon. Um and. Uh, they they saw the price tag, and they were talking to the sales rep. Like, oh, that's that's kind of expensive, especially especially if we're gonna get two. And the sales rep was like, why are you getting two? Oh, he goes, well, because we need to get two in case one of them goes down. He goes, no, 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 stop it. We're not Xerox. You get one, and it will work. Period. Well, okay. And to their surprise, the sales rep wasn't lying that time. Just please die this again. Okay, it's again. <laughs> so, 
That's in the line. That's coming eventually. That's coming eventually. Um, it'll happen, but yeah, I don't know. Lots of things are in the line to change. Um, not necessarily bad things. So we'll see. Honest sales, right? Stage, uh, late stage capitalism and stage society. No, huh. those, those are Xerox's uh, uh, sales reps, that's for sure. Um, selling the lower capacity uh, uh, paper trays because they uh, turn more of a profit for Xerox. Those fuckers. <clears throat> no. So if they only buy one friend, I won't take long. <laughs> Person I burned down the company myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well. So it's going to be interesting to, to, uh, to see what happens. Uh, DD. No. In other words, Canada apparently uh, aren't making their continual support necessary as necessary as Xerox's. Yeah. <coughs> and on top of that, it will do full duplex printing, full color, I can 1200 DPI, which is double what we can do now, with Micr, with the magnetic ink, on roll, at like 5,000 meters an hour or something like that. No, more, no, I don't have the I don't have the units right. I don't know if it was per hour or minute. I don't know. But whatever it was, it was five times more than what our current printer does. The, uh, the current roll to roll printer um yeah apparently it just moves it just screams i don't know um because i know i know that the one that we do have if it goes roll to roll it can go a lot faster than what we push it now good evening how you doing <clears throat> uh <laughs> the the pick Sure. <laughs> too many, too many numbers in your name. How you doing? Uh, five hundred meters per minute. Uh, will be practically light speed. Yeah, maybe it was for hour. I don't. I don't. I honestly don't know. It was five thousand meters per something. So maybe an hour then. I don't know. Uh, the, that, uh that's. That's the company's printer. Oh. Well, What's this? What the fuck? What is this? Is why I hate web design. Like what? What the shit is this? Really? Oh, now, now, now it wants to load. Jesus. Half this page is even loading. Oh, I'm not doing all that shit. <laughs> more of a person <laughs> just to be more confusing yeah but anyway 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 what all websites yeah I know I know speaking of website shit by the way so remember uh, a while back um, where I had mentioned that like every end of month the server would fall over the web server at work would fall over because everyone's trying to get their the, their digital versions of their statement or whatever at the same time. I got confirmation to my theory. Um, I I was hoping I wasn't right. No, no, not that one. Well, maybe that one. I don't know. But uh, this server that that handled all these PDFs, that served all these PDFs, how? If you were, were were writing a website that served half a million PDFs, right? Um, half a million different PDFs, one per account kind of thing. Say between two and ten pages per PDF, right? And you expected this server to get slammed um, during an entire week of the month, right? Because, you know, month end. Everyone wants to... They just got their email saying that they could see their statement. 
Um, so they all they all go to the, the site at the same time, right? Sit for Windows and works on Windows Seven. Oh my god! Hey, don't Commodore. So how, how how would you go about writing that site? Maybe um, <laughs> it's a dual Apple sixty four back for one of those called Ant sixty four. What? Um, maybe like you know generating all the PDFs and storing them in you know some some directory structure or maybe even a database. Who knows, right? And then in the database you you you, you match what account has which PDF, right? That would make that might make sense, right? Sure. Uh, whatever way you thought of was not how we did that. So can't hate on. So the PDFs on a tape drive. That's almost what we did. Um, right once run anyway, and run away. Yeah. Uh, clearly, SVNet generating whatever. Oh boy. So when print my location provided PDFs to web, the way we had to do that. So the way we did this, we, we sent one large PDF and an index file. And I guess indexed accounts to the page number. I thought they chopped that up and then serve that chopped up. No. On demand, at the request, they open the large PDF and extract the pages using the index on every motherfucking request. No wonder it fell over all the time. The fuck why? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So they get one massive PDF um, and an indexed text file. Right? A text file that is the index, right? Lists out the page number and the accounts for, for all of them, right? So this account starts at page whatever, goes for five pages. And then on the request, when someone goes to the website and says, hey, I want my PDF... On that request, the master PDF is opened, and just those pages are extracted. On request. Huh? Still today, how you doing? You guys generate them all on the fly at that right? No. No. Those should be pre-split, pre-processed. And then just read from fucking disk. Oh no, that's more space. No, it's fucking not. How big is this PDF? Like 50 gigs? Um, some of them, uh, some of them can get to like 10 gigs. Some of them can, can get pretty big. It's like a single database, but in a PDF. Yeah, basically. Um, but uh, but no. No, they're doing it wrong. Easiest DDoS, yeah, easiest DOS attack ever. We do it to ourselves every month. <laughs> I just <sighs> baffling. The new CTO looked at it and, and, and went, "The fuck you doing?" <laughs> He's like, "No, no, no, you gotta change that. That's that's terrifying. What?" No wonder it go it fell all over all, all the time, and no wonder we lose customers. It takes more space during pre-gen split, but since uh, you can delete the source afterwards, it will take a little more. It will take a little more space, but not much. The space is negligible. Throw hard drive at it if it means keeping your customers. Like, throw hard drive at it. Who gives a shit? We keep it for only a few months anyway. Throw a hard drive at it or you lose customers. Period. We have lost customers because of this. No. 
and he, and he had someone that was that was arguing with him. Oh, it's faster this way. He's like, no, it's not actually. It's more it's more re more resource intensive, which is why the server falls over all the time. Fucking do it right. Get out of here. Do it right. Man, categorically, categorically wrong. Yeah. Never this channel can come up with a better system uh, while being blind and sleep deprived for a week. Yes. 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 Didn't actually happen on this issue this week. What is this? I mean, one could uh, argue that they uh, mitigated a path-based attack by having only one file. Oh, God. I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I may have heard about that. Don't buy into the smart device bullshit. It's not worth it. It's just not. It's, it's dumb. Like, oh, my God. So that path-based thing, like, no. Because have one generic, like, download statement. Give a date. That's it. You're not logged in. You don't get your statement. Period. Good question. I might, ha I might not have an answer. Uh, what I think uh, it should do is print the requested pages, then feed the printer output into a scanner. We've done shit like that before. How was the offset determined and looked up? My programs. Well, not mine, but programs that are run in my location. Can that be incorrect? Uh-huh. It can. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. <laughs> oh, God. Check. Tech enthusiasts. Everything in my house is wired to the Internet of Things. I can control it all off my smartphone. My smart house is Bluetooth is, is Bluetooth enabled. I can give it voice commands via Alexa. I love the future. Programmers and engineers. The most recent piece of technology I own is a printer from 2004, and I keep a loaded gun ready to shoot it if it ever makes an unexpected noise. <laughs> Security text takes a deep swig of whiskey. Whiskey. I wish I had been born in the Neolithic. <laughs> That's good. I I I haven't seen that the the the, the security tech one. I knew about this one. The, <laughs> the most recent piece of tech I want is a printer from 2004. And I keep a loaded gun ready to shoot it if it ever makes an unexpected noise. <laughs> I feel that. I, uh huh. I will never, ever own any smart device bullshit that I haven't personally programmed, which isn't going to happen. So I don't think I'll ever own one. No. Oh. On the other hand, it's not that bad. Just don't be a fucking idiot. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Not for me. I don't want that. I don't want, I don't want, like, my toothbrush to have the ability to fucking phone home. Like, it doesn't need to, it doesn't need that. Hey, go buy me a sandwich. No, get your own. <laughs> doesn't need that shit. Really don't. Anyway. Anyway. Where the hell was I? Uh, you can use smart device shit uh, if it's trapped in the network. Yeah, but I'm too lazy to do that, so I'm just not going to do it. In every kitchen, we have a smart oven. The first thing I did was disable it before anyone comes on <laughs> comes on stupid ideas. Yeah. 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 I hate the whole, like, smart device mentality. Oh, smart TV. Oh, the smart fridge. Oh, the smart this. Oh, the smart that. No, fuck you. I don't need it, like, collecting my data and, and, and having a microphone in it and... I don't, I don't need that. I don't need it needing an internet fucking connection. Uh, think about the possibilities. God. And give you recommendations that you'll ignore. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Why the fuck does that have to do smart? I... Because people are stupid, apparently. No, because we're pseudo. <laughs> Here you go. Have a nice day. Yeah, only if it worked that way, right? Uh, if 
pulling pages out of a PDF. Oh, do they have uh, cross user security? Can someone pull up uh, anyone's page if they have the URL? That is a fantastic question. I have not asked that question. I refuse to try and find out. Not my department. I re I do not want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. No. Sue. Nate just decongested. Yeah, well, over the camera. Bring the oven while you're uh, on your way home. Yeah. I, mean, I guess. And just be home. Duh. Obviously. Just be home. This is really just crime a lot. What? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the naughty list. Uh, anyway. Anyway, I've gone off enough of enough a rant. <clears throat> Smart stuff is stupid in several ways. Especially, uh, and I, I especially won't trust big company products. Never. Never. Nope. Nope. Uh, Alright, what the hell is this doing? What are we doing here? Um... I don't need that up. Argument. Huh? Load a compare to third. What? Oh god! No one of these where where it, where it compares to something that from another thing. Ah, oh, Jesus. The only smart device I trust are the ones I have jailbroken and flashed. There you go. Yeah. Uh. What is this? More comparisons over here. What, where does this go? Where does that go? RTS. That goes over here. So this one is just going to rename this one RTS. RTS. <laughs> <laughs> Monster Becky, how you doing? So we will watch Netflix. We will watch. <laughs> we never watch the memory stream of a console. Exactly. 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 Uh, the hell is this though? Um. So I guess this is some sort of like comparison thing. Oh Jesus! What seventy two? What the? Huh? Store seventy three. Okay, so that's a word. Probably. Word at seven seven uh oh seven seven two. Now, yep. You know, new firmware. There you go. At some point, you get to, uh, we only see hardware you personally design. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to set the size on this. Two bytes. Ah, it's better. Ah, there we go. It's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, how do we get down here? Uh, oh, before she say branch minus. Wait, what the hell? Hang on. Edit label. Less than. Okay. Load a store. Transfer. Transfer. A. What the fuck? Wait, what the hell? Okay, it's comparing the low bytes of both of these. So I guess this only works on bytes? But it's getting the lower of A in 34 and B in 36. Okay. And then what? Load 34, compare 20. Carry set, so it's less than. Right? Four less than hex twenty, right? Is that what that's saying? It's five parameters loaded into sequential zero-page words. Ugh. Can't say anything. I'm close to only uh, using code in my engine. Personally, wrote barely no external libs. What? What do you want? What do you want from me? 
five parameters. Um, 36, compare that there. Carry to clear. So 36 is greater than or equal to. Right? Or 36. Uh, 30, 36. 6. Greater than or equal to. 1 E. I know this is not 20, so that. Okay, yep. Yeah. This is getting either end of this. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right. Load 34. Subtract A from it. Huh? But that might be 34. And store that over here. Because, uh-huh. And then increment by one. Load 36. Do the same thing. Somewhere else. Those are bytes, but okay, whatever. I'll I'm just the words. Um. God. Okay. Word sixty-six. Every time, every goddamn time, I see the number sixty-six. I always think of fucking Star Wars. Execute order sixty-six. I don't know why. I don't know why. All right, so, so it's taking it's taking the that and put and putting it there. Okay, why? Load three. Put it. Oh god. Jump pointer plus one. Huh? Wait a minute. Load three. Look what argument? Be, what the? F huh? Wait. So, uh, Byte six A. Well, they're gonna be putting that at the jump pointer. Tra oh god! Oh god! Transfer A to X. What? What is the range on that? What can X be? Jojo, how you doing? I love digital archaeology. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, all, it's honestly a lot of what I do out of work and at work, believe it or not. Test, a new, test out a new Go library just to delete the branch because even though it was good, I had more customization already in my project and didn't want to lose it. Yeah. Uh, I think I've been there before. Oh. Um, what the hell is this? What is, what, is this a table of something? Uh-huh. Looks like it. I don't know how big it is, but at most a page, I'd say. Because it can't be any larger than that. Right? Can't be any larger than that. B390 at uh, 91. How, how big do we think this is? Did I get a 20 year old uh, C sharp library written by students? Oh boy. Uh, so the code that I actively work in, in my day job, um, is written in a god awful programming language named PLB. Um, and a lot of it is 30 years old. And it's a spaghetti mess. So you're also mas masochistic. <laughs> oh. I'm not even 30. Yeah, it's older than you. Yeah, the program was written, or started to be written, in 1993. <laughs> um, Let's just say 256 for this. Why not? Why not? What is it? Who knows? I don't know. Pull A and it with three. 
transfer A to Y. What? Pull A. Wait. You only... Huh? PHA is push A, right? Am I remembering that wrong? Am I remembering that wrong? I don't think I am. Push. Okay. Okay. I was remembering it right. All right. Push. Push A. Push it. And it with three. Transfer it to Y. Pull it. And it with F. Shift it right. Twice. Huh? All right. So this guy here. This guy is getting... Um, Those, those guys. This one. Starting here, edit label. This guy is eventually getting... Those guys. Through all that. Loading up X. Oh, God. Another look up. Oh, Jesus. Um... B thirty three ninety one through B five nine A five nine A over there to there. Uh, it's clearly not six five two code. Uh, the end of the bank is Phil. Oh, yep, that is Phil. Uh huh. Yes. So we've got another, another, um, well, that's 266 bytes. I don't know. So this is probably like two tables. Might be something from here. What is this? 189 versus 77. I don't know. That doesn't sound right. 75, maybe. I don't know. Um, Lodex. So, oh, this is 77. What? Sorry, 77. Oh, 7. Was that a word just now? No, 772. Hmm. Ooh. Word table at uh, B3AF. Here. Hmm. Three, eight, one. No, B three. Did I label that right? I guess so. Hmm. Um. X compare X to that. Ooh. Ooh. So I don't know how large this can be. But this is a table filled in RAM. I don't know how large that is. Can't be larger than that, though, right? Seven nine C. No more channel points were, were useful. They were never useful here. Boy, this is only worth three hundred twenty thousand plus points. <laughs> Cheers. Oh Jesus. <laughs> PPU crap. All right. Uh, I need to add this label. Label DB34. Three, three, so that, so that's not a jump pointer now. That's just a fucking word. That's just a word. It's used as a jump pointer at one point. 
here. But yeah, that's just a word. That's all that is. Also gets on there and there and there. Hmm. I'm very confident I'm not even in the top five champ point owners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got nothing to use them on, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um What the hell is this even doing? Doesn't look like it was ever used. Get that label. Label D B five D. Right there. JSR to somewhere else. Oh, Jesus, what is this? Transfer X to A. Uh, push it. Load A. So it's clobber A, okay. Store it, load X. This is a loop. Thank you for the follow, appreciate that. Uh, mainly since I don't even use Switch's chat anymore. Um, that's not clicking the points. <laughs> Overtook. Overtook. It's like a massive PLBS one because I know someone here will want it. I know. I know. He's ordering mine or going around for that. Ah. Uh. What the hell? Is, what is going on with this? Let's throw that there. Okay, so let's let's edit uh, CE, C8, and C9. So CE is just going to be a E and F. Um, word CE. Uh, six CE. Zero six CE. Two bytes. Everything that's words in this. This one, at label word 06C8. I don't really know what this is doing. Um, I'm going to ignore it. Label CDD9. Um, come back over there. Uh, that's 128 bytes long. Uh, B391. B391. This one here? I guess I, I have it labeled as 256. But you're saying it's 128 bytes? No? Okay. 256. No, 8BD4? 8? No. It's DBD4. What does this do? Load a byte, store it somewhere else. Load part of a word, store it... Oh, what? Store it in there, and then shift that twice. And then load it. Okay. And then put it there. And load up something else and put it up there. Wait a minute. Then jump over here. Which is that shifting routine we were just in. Huh? Uh, multiply routine. Uh, 8 bit to 16 bit. CDD9. 
possibly. CE, that's this guy here. <sighs> Ugh. Did we already have a multiply for something? That one was um uh two sixteen bits though, wasn't it? Into a uh thirty two bit. Well, I handle this guy here. How'd this do it? All right, does yep. Um, here's that multiply there. I mean, this is doing something very similar, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I didn't label this guy. Label 83D1 loop. Let's also label this guy. Wait. No. A3BE. Label 83BE loop. That's better. This one is 83D1. <laughs> That's all that is. Um, no. What was I? Where was I? This one? No. Th no. Where the hell was I? The shift something or other, right? Ah, oh, jeez. Um... Loop, out of loop, 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 positive loop, not zero, clear tables, loop. I like how half of these aren't available. So I just right, shift something, this guy here. <laughs> so what is it multiple, what, uh, what is it? What are the two arguments on this end? So 8 to 8, uh, 16 multiply for 0 x, clobber a, multiplies uh, 6c8 by 6c9, producing a result in 6ce and 6cf. Okay. So then this guy, we're going to rename these to bytes. Byte. Edit label. Uh, 06. 6C9. That. Edit label. Um. Multiply. 8X16. 8216. Yeah. Epic, you have a good night. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. We managed to keep this list special for more than a week. I'm invested now. <laughs> Fair. Have a good night. We'll see you next time. Um, all right. Oh, that's that's used in a few places. Okay. Okay. Good night. <laughs> um. Okay, so it's doing a multi it's doing some some crap in here. Uh, loading a bunch of crap, loading some more crap, loading some even more crap. Uh, 
The Jays are like, what the fuck is this? What the shit is this? Not the flag 94 thing again? Oh god, no! Cause the, uh... Cause that jumps over here, which jumps over here, which does something. I read Kubernetes. I read Knates. <laughs> That's supposed to be Ku Kubernetes? Sure. <laughs> um, God. Okay. So this is... This has something to do with, with waiting for something to be drawn, I guess. Right? Updating something, waiting for it to be drawn. That's what this stupid crap is. Um... What the hell is this? That, okay, that's writing to, to the PPU. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Load stack. Store it in the buffer data. Wait. Load that. And, um... What the hell is B? <laughs> God damn it, why? I forget what that is. Get the Nebraska. Uh, come on. X. Beh. Okay, so that's just turning off the um, increment. So it's, it goes across. It's one, okay. Uh, we're going to label that. Um, where's off the drawing? No. Um, look what this already am. If the multiply result is in a low byte in, uh, 60 E high byte in 61. I mean, that would make sense, yeah. Um, oh, God. Buffer address. Still, what the f Why? Huh? 302, 303. Okay, so this. Destination address for the buffer. Sets, yeah, okay, two bytes. <laughs> I... Edit this. Word zero se se seven seven four nine. Two bytes. Yeah, swaps these around because the PPU is backwards. Uh huh. Um. And then this is just hardware stack. Oh God. Um. But there's. There's more than one table in there. So, in the hardware stack, we've got something here, I think. And maybe even something di different here. It might be two separate tables, not just one. And then, whatever the hell this is. I mean, wait, maybe, maybe this is the other table I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, so this is this, which is 64 bytes. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's call that a 64-byte table. Why not? Hmm. It's a 32-byte table. This guy's going to be on the table of 32 bytes. Zero one twenty. Uh, thirty-two. God. So think about uh, trying to take to make up. Excuse me, fantasy console. Yep. Op. Okay. Much earlier. Uh, another interesting feature on the from GPU. Uh, give it dual issue. Uh huh. Two data independent instructions can be executed at once, or combo of lower and upper multiple bytes results. Ah, I see. Oh. 
Um, all right, 328, that's going to be a max of 32, right? Because load store. Table, 03228, max of uh, 32. Wasn't this used for something already? Three. What's this guy here? Is it that big? Six twenty seven. What the hell? Add carry store, load a store. This is a word. Oh no, that's um that's doing the vertical right manually with horizontal drawing turned on. Come on. Or no, some no, it's just getting the next row actually. Not not necessarily the 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 vertical drawing. It's just getting the next row. So draw a row, get the next one, I guess. Maybe. That's not where I wanted that. I wanted it here. That's better. Because our software scheduled uh, in order execution cores, so we can do stuff like that much more easily. Right. They're designed for it, yeah. The, the, that loop is explicitly 20 long, so that, yeah, that table is at least that big. Hmm. Also, you honey, how you doing? Well, Flappy Bird is an 11 year old game. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Welcome, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Um, JSR, why? Why? Oh, God. Um, edit that. Label E733. What was it? Right scroll? Scroll? Right scroll, yep. Um, <coughs> okay. So it writes the scroll at the end. Why doesn't it just jump there? It's an RTS right after it. Why? Ah, uh, it's so dumb. All right, what the hell is this loop? Oh, no, a JSR is to that loop. Oh, Jesus. Flag 94. Okay, I was 12. It's only 12? I thought it was a little than that, but. Huh. No, wasn't it? Didn't it come out 11, 11, 11? So, hang on. Let me break out a calculator here, real quick. 20. No, no. Okay, how about in decimal mode? Twenty-four. Okay, how about clear all the values? Twenty, twenty-four, minus thirteen. Twelve plus. Twelve in a few months, I guess. It's still annoyingly buggy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got a soft spot for sure, uh, for Skyrim. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this in a bite just for for shits and giggles. Zero, three, two, two, five. Can't play without. Yeah, you can't. Mod is a full time job. You cannot play without mod. I can't play without mods. No. They're not even like like massive mods really they're they're like all cosmetic stuff that like and bug fixes right they don't update an old game more than um uh, other than the couple of things that get the <laughs> creation stuff to work on yeah creation stuff to work yeah <laughs> yeah using the same engine for decades and barely even updating it um 
So I don't know what the hell this is doing. Um, I don't know. It's buffering some stuff. Uh, and then waiting for it to be drawn to screen, it looks like. Yeah. Label D, C, D, 4. Uh, where is this jump to from? High occurrences. A few places. All right. Cool. Um, maybe some sprite stuff? I don't know. Or no, this is this is like this is buffer PPU data of some sort, right? Yeah. Use magic for taking me while you uh, no, no, five still being the same engine as Unreal One. <laughs> no comment. Um, so this is just like buffer the again. Come on. This buffer thing already calls this. Oh my god, waits. It, this is some sort of like frame weight or something. It has to be. You get a new one, you get uh, improved versions uh, just to get different numbers or, or names for marketing. I mean, I get it. I get it, but. Uh, I don't know. The uh, the, Sky, the Skyrim engine. Oh, the Skyrim engine. What is that engine? What is, the fuck is it called? I don't even know what it's called. Um, but. Bethesda, yeah, but the Bethesda engine is so full of hideousness, where like every game they like modders are fixing the same fucking bugs, which I find hilarious. <laughs> the Todd Howard engine, it just works. Yeah. Have I seen any modern engine? What makes you think I want to see a modern engine? Flannel monkey, how you doing? Uh. A request a day is still request a day still considered a a request a day considered us at the done a minute huh one hundred requests a day a day a day from one place hundred requests next to nothing. Why? Why some site kick you? <laughs> you tried and write a Twitter bot, and it got mad at you. Why are the two RTSs right after each other? Why? Pfft. The hell is this code? No. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I had to ask anyway. All right. <laughs> Word. Oh, seven. No, seven. Uh, four, two. Try not to get blacklist. Ah, okay. Web scraping project you're doing. Um, I mean, yeah, so it depends on, on the toss. Uh, and it depends on if they implemented their... Well. <laughs> it depends on, on if, if they have a, a any kind of throttling in place. Right? Where, okay, so if you make too many requests, they may just ban your IP outright. Right? Which could happen. Uh, they could just deny um, uh, uh, deny you for a certain amount of time. They could tell you to, hey, slow down in, in a header or whatever. It all, it all depends. Yeah. No. Yeah. Actually, is a huge piece of work because uh, the biggest benefit of creation engine has, the way it works, is really good to allow for modding. Hmm. Yeah. One request a day for web scraping feels a bit high. Um, well, uh, so not like a hundred full scrapes. It's like you want to get a website. There's more than a hundred like individual pages on that website or whatever, right? So that sounds feasible. Hell, you load one web page and it loads. It calls out to like fifty different other things. So you know, <laughs> I don't know. 
put a thick bucket on my old desk, and now my dog lives there. They do that, yeah. I don't want to have a better. Yes, I do. Yes, uh, do I understand why stuff happens the way it finally does? Yes. Uh, I, yeah. Again, like <laughs> same, same, same shit at my job, right? Like, do I want stuff better? Yes. Do I understand how it got here and why it is the way it is? Yes. Do I like it? No. Also, uh, hundred per day. If you do all that in one minute, it's more like hundred per minute. Yep. If you want to do that for that one minute, or at least it looks that way. Yeah, that's true as well. Like, what's the um, the uh, um, the spacing on that? You know, if you do 100 in a minute or 100 in a second, you try that, right? Just fire off as fast as you can. I mean, they might not let you get to that 100. <laughs> they might cut you off early. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, excuse me. 4704. Oh, Jesus. Uh, used as in a lookup table at uh, four five oh nine. Table. Uh, four, five, five, oh, five, oh my god. Five, oh, five, five, oh, nine. There it is. Yeah, so you'd want to space them out. Uh, and again, you do, you do want to read the toss. Make sure you're not, you know, pissing them off. Uh, it depends on how they check for it. Yeah. Yeah. They say that 100 per day is okay with no speed limits. And uh, even going 100 a second might be fine as long as you make sure you don't do any more than those 100. Yeah. Yeah, and for for sites that like have a well defined um, API for things, uh, like I know Twitch would do this or does this. I think I'm pretty sure Twitch does this. Uh, Jojo, Jojo might be able to back me up on this one. Um, but if you're making too many too many requests, um, eventually you'll get a, a, a reply that says, "Hey, slow the slow down, stop it." It's a special request that when you get it, you're supposed to slow the fuck down. Um, and not try again in another uh, for another like minute or so, right? Um, and if you don't do that, they'll end up like blocking it if you don't like listen to the to the requests that, that the server sent in you. You know? Yeah. If it's not good, it worked out it's because uh, I did do a bit. Yeah, partially caused uh, by seeing a lot of backseat devs online talking about stuff they don't understand. Why well, you get that? Some people don't don't. And are fucking frustrated. I yeah, yeah. Uh, I tried reading the toss, but it only uh, states the way they use your data. Uh, uh, well, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. I know you're not gonna hear this. I know. I don't have my sound turned on for stream capture. <laughs> The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, hey, you're probably fine. Probably. I don't know. One way to find out, though, you know? All right, I suppose you hit the just you on real five. Oh, fuck, like, I don't understand shit, do they? Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, like, so that kind of stuff I can get, right? Like, oh, just use a different engine. Go to hell. <laughs> Just go to hell. Switching engines is a task. That's a that's a task right there. Now. Um What the fuck is this? What the hell is this shit now? PP buffer oh god, pointers and buffer addresses and oh Jesus, more tables. Oh god! And that got Oh, set flag! Oh my God, they're setting flag ninety four. Holy shit! I haven't seen that used yet. Oh my God, I just went and set a bunch of those. <laughs> if they haven't started uh, with a different engine yet, I assume that different engines are better at different kinds of games. No. 
Uh, this is going in, in every field. Once you know stuff, you'll naturally get annoyed by people opposing as experts, but know nothing. It's even worse when those those armchair experts, I'll call them, um, are uh, are higher than you in the um, chain of command. <laughs> now, push more money to start loose. At least the engines have been made money from the game, like uh, like ID, like id. Yeah. Uh, they don't because it'd be embarrassing. I think. I don't know. It, so, so the uh, the uh, the older engines, especially, um, are carefully curated. I'll say, <laughs> well, maybe not curated, but they um, they spent a lot of time um, with a lot of little the little details on those engines. Um, yeah, I'm not sure the companies now give a shit. Uh, I've read something about CD uh, PR folks, and now they switch the engine under 05. Lots of people say that the uh, red engine are gone now. But we really know this stuff in it. Uh, UE5 is a good general engine, especially when uh, learning, leaning towards FPS, but in a lot of genres, it's very meh for them. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can absolutely see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, FPS or like, uh, like something third person or what have you. Yeah, I can absolutely see that. Uh, just, just how I like. So I've, 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 I don't know. I looked at briefly a while back. Um, uh, Unity and how how to do like two D stuff in Unity, and it's like, well, you kind of fake it because it's a three D engine. I'm like, but I don't want a 3D engine. I want, like, real 2D stuff. Can I get that with, like, sprites and things? And it's like, mm, well, you can make a plane and put a texture on it, but the plane exists, exists in 3D space. I'm like, but I don't want that. <laughs> and I evolved from Unreal Tournament. Yes. Hence the, the name. Yeah. <laughs> Tournament. Wait a minute. Is this buffering more than one thing at a time? Oh, Jesus. Buffering all kinds of things. Uh, purely 2D, you got stuff like Game Maker. Yeah. Game Maker Studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, um, then your, your, your uh, visual novel engine, the uh, Renpy. Renpy, have you pronounce it? Yeah. I've heard good things about that one. I don't know. A lot of stuff for TG just, just leans to frameworks. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because when you're doing 2D stuff, like, it's... You can, you can rely... You can... Not rely, but lean on, like... Like, screen coordinates. In... In a way you can't for like a 3D environment, really, you know. Or at least it's easier to do. It with, I, I don't know with that without without the extra the extra dimension in there, you know. With modern graphics, APIs, 99% stuff is just going to use texture directs for 2D. I want to good 2D support my engine, but it's going to be 3D primarily. Yeah, I mean so. Like, a lot of engines, even if they are, like, a 3D engine, will need some 2D capabilities. Things for, like, you know, the, like, menus or HUDs or whatever, you know? Uh, it's not going to be the, the whole, like, the whole engine, but it's, it's going to be, you know, part of it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to need, you know, a way to, to show health to the player or something, you know? Spray headwear is a thing from the ancient past, like a century. I, I know. I know. I am working on... 40 year old hardware here. All right, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> I have 30, 30 year old hardware in pieces next to me. <laughs> I 
which I have, I have started to, uh, to reverse engineer some of the boards. So I, I got this one mapped out the other night. I figured I'd start with the simplest board um, to remember how to use KiCad um, and to make sure that, like, you know, my method works, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Once I get, once I get the, uh, the schematic for this one in a, in a state that I'm comfortable with, I'll move on to the next one. The next, the next board with a bunch more crap on it, actually. What hardware is that? This over here is a fancy Famicom. This guy is a uh, sharp Famicom titler. the faceplate for it right here um so you got the 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 slot for games and little two little holders on either side for um for your controllers uh it's not in here right now I, I took it out to to make it not nasty but there's a touchpad that goes right here um that does that does text recognition on the famicom what the huh what uh, a bunch of other buttons over here. Uh, this board um, actually goes underneath these buttons. Uh, that's what that's what uh, that's what drives this right here, and the switch over here. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's there's four circuit boards on this thing. Uh, one of them, this is the simplest one. It's the buttons on the back of this thing. There's an I/O board that the controllers plug into, the the expansion ports on, and the uh, the touchpad. Excuse me. And then there's a video board. Handles all the video input and output, and then there's the main board, the Famicom board, which is a is the only board that has the has more than one layer. It's got like three layers, I think, maybe four, but I think it's just three. Um, and it has an embedded cartridge or integrated cartridge, rather. It's a Famicom with a cartridge on the main board. So, so this is the main board for it. Here's my mouse. Ba, 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 this one. So this is the main board for the titler. Um, come on. This portion here, that's uh, more or less standard-ish Famicom stuff. Uh, there is some extra shenanigans in here, however. Um, this uh, this PPU is a is an RGB PPU. It's a specialty one, kind of. Uh, there's a few more chips scattered around for titler functions and then everything up here except for all well, these two chips down here are are part of the famicom those are ram but this stuff up here that's a cartridge that's a that's that, that that's a that's an mmc1 cartridge up there with with battery backed ram even the battery on this thing a battery on a famicom board this thing's jank as hell yeah and then so this is the front of it right looks kind of nice right all nicely laid out. What the shit is that? What is going on there? What? Huh? What is going on there? Is what someone correct? Uh, Famicom Titler is a console related to the Famicom Nest, but mainly uh, intended to capture and edit videos, including overlays, sound, and shit. Um, mainly just uh, overlay videos with with subtitles and cards, title cards. Yeah. Yeah. Capture the best word. Capture probably not the best word. Yeah. Makes it sound like it stores a video, even temporarily, which it doesn't. Right. Now. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's a fascinating little thing. It's fascinating. And it's jank as hell. And I love it. It's so dumb. I lo and the picture on this thing is crisp. Right? Let me, uh, let me get it plugged back in. I can show you.
not plugging in that board, it's fine. I should be able to just now. Right on. Ta-da! Very crisp picture. Uh, this is coming directly out of the thing into my capture card. Um, there's no cartridge in this. This is the this is the embedded cartridge on on the, on the board. No. Uh, sound was great as the ultimate two D two D game machine. And I got blindsided by the PlayStation. Yeah. So they had to uh, figure out how to add any 3D capacity to it in a hurry. Yeah, the Saturn. Yeah, yeah. I heard it was a fantastic 2D game machine. Yeah. Um, absorb twin sibling. Basically, yeah. Not to be confused with the twin Famicom, by the way, which is another device. <laughs> I said on Bosch board. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Wasn't the Saturn also uh, not the one with the uh, not the one with that extremely impressive vector coprocessor that uh, could execute five pseudo instructions at the same time? Ah, uh, you thinking of the Jaguar? Was that the one? <laughs> Input video is pretty passed through uh, with j uh, just with overlays added onto it. Uh, yeah. Is that the button press? Oh, I might. Oh, okay, oh, okay. So because I I don't have this plugged in, I think it registers some button presses sometimes. Now, if I turn it on, it shouldn't go to the menu. It should just stay on this. Should. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> um, first engineer some reverse engineer some Saturn stuff. Uh, for work once. Ooh, well, as fun as you can imagine. They set up. Uh, they say it for the pun of saving sharp picture, and you, and you don't take it. What? Sharp picture, yeah. Yeah, so this is unmo unmodified hardware, um, RGB PPU. So it's a different, it's a different uh, revision of the PPU on this thing, and um, it's got uh, slightly, slightly different colors than than the RF and AV Famicom, I think. No, no. Well, for configurations for the command, it's not enough for other things properly worded. That's fine. Um. Let me check. Uh, I know Game Hunt has a video about it. And yes, it was the center. Oh, okay. The compressor is the DSP. Hmm. How many off the shelf parts does it use? Uh, a buttload of capacitors. Honestly, half of this, like the vi the video I.O. board, um, reminds me of a VCR board. Honestly. Um, Cause it's doing like composite crap. It's doing S video stuff. It's doing RF stuff on there. Um, yeah, I mean, so the 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 ICs on this. There's a lot of of um, uh, what's it? Uh, shift register things. There's a lot of uh, you know SRAM, um, fairly fairly standard stuff. And then there's the six five zero two and the PPU, which are not standard. Um, a forty six and possibly fewer. Hmm. Um, yeah, there's a few inverters on there. I haven't gone through all the all the chips yet to figure out exactly what they all are, because um, I just haven't gotten there yet. Uh, but yeah, there's a few inverters. There's a bunch of, of uh, shift registers, a um, lot of resistors and capacitors and diodes and and whatnot. Um, yeah, and little potentiometers all scattered all over the place that do God knows what. Um, but yeah, fairly standard stuff. Fairly standard stuff. Um, the only um, the only special chips on this that I have seen so far, I haven't like again I haven't looked at the, the, at the video I/O board. Um, the only special chips are the CPU, the PPU, and I think maybe one other. Um, I think. I don't know. No, oh, and the the. MMC1 chip, right? Um, and also not counting the mask ROM. Yeah, like it's just a mask ROM, right? It's, it's not. It's not. A, it's not a. It's not. A, it's not a logic chip doing anything. Um,
Yeah, there's a handful of, sh of sharp labeled chips on here, but I mean, you know, some of them are, are, are SRAM, so. <laughs> yeah. So it's not, not too fancy. Not too fancy. With the parts, anyway. Um, just fascinating device that uh, I want to figure out how. So I, the, the, the ROM on this thing is on a socketed chip, right? It's socketed. So I went out and bought, um, well, no, I didn't go anywhere. I bought it off Amazon. Uh, I bought one of these guys, which is a, a little uh, Ziff reader thing, or, you know, Ziff socket reader. So I can take take the chip. Make sure I got it the right way. This is off of uh, something else. So I can take a chip, pop it in there, right? Pop. How about if you, if you pop it in there like that? I said pop it in there like that, and then do that. There it goes. This is sticky on top there. Um... In theory, I should be able to read it. Haven't been able to yet, successfully. I was able to read this one, this guy, so I know that the device works and I, I got the software working. Um, I just haven't gotten data off that chip yet, so I need to figure out the parameters for that one. Now, yeah. but I'll get there eventually, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, what do you, why are you just linking YouTube videos? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I've seen that one. I've seen that one. Yeah. All right. Anyway, what the hell is this? Um. Another table. Uh, DF three seven. Where the fuck? Where? Three seven. This guy here. How big do you think that is? Probably pretty pretty big. Seven, maybe down to there. Sixty-four bytes. Maybe sixty-four bytes. Table D F three seven. Probably sixty-four bytes. I don't know. Maybe sixty-four bytes. Yeah. Here's something like this. Uh, the Sharp Famicom Toddler is a console related to the Famicom slash NES, but mainly intended to overlay text, graphics, and sound onto an input video in real time. Yes. Yes. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right. Byte 58. <laughs> 50, 58. I hit the buttons in the other direction. Um, this is a loop. Yeah, it's a loop. Lop. Uh, yeah, so reading from there. So, what? Huh? Wait a minute. In the address? Where is, where is Y in this? Hang on. What? Where's Y filled? Load Y zero. <sighs> no, that's whatever. Um, load Y zero. Okay. And then Y isn't touched until here. Uh Huh? No, that doesn't seem right. What? Hmm. What are they sync the I see on the PB times uh the Genlock? I'm not even sure what Genlock is. What the hell is Genlock? Generator locking. Common technique where the video output of one source or uh, or a specific reference signal from a signal generator is, is used to synchronize other picture sources together. Ah, the aim of video applications is to ensure the co uh, coincidence of signals uh, at a time at a combining or switching point. When the video instruments are synchronized in this way, they're said to be generator locked or gen locked. Got it. All right, so synchronizing the, synch the, the signals. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't know. 
you'd figure it would um, it would use the uh, if it could, it would use the external signal uh, and bring that in, right? That's probably why it flashes when um, I, I, I flick that little switch on the front, um, the overlay switch, because it probably like resets the PPU on that, right? And 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 locks it to 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 and synchronizes it, right? I can see it doing that. No. Oh. The only other context I heard gen like before was with Pokemon games and items being locked to games of certain generations, right? Right? <laughs> I think that's the only other time I've heard I, I've heard it too. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that would make sense. The, uh, that would make sense to why the um, the PPU flashes when you fl flick that switch, or the screen flashes when you flick the switch because it, it resets the PPU probably, right? It wouldn't reset the CPU, huh? Because then that would, you know, reset your game or whatever. <laughs> so, huh? So you could have a frame cut short. You could have a frame that has fewer cycles before the NMI when for that one frame that you flick it. <laughs> I wonder what side effects that would have. Like if if you if you did that at a certain if you did that during NMI of the game, um, like say towards the beginning of the NMI, right? So it restarts the NMI. <laughs> How would I handle that? Poorly? I don't know. I don't know because you'll return from interrupt, but will you return into the other interrupt? I don't think so. Well. The interrupt flag wouldn't be set, I don't think, but you'd st it'd still be on the stack, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You might process frames out of order. Who knows? What happens if you hit the switch while running a, uh, a game rather than running a game rather than the title ROM? Yeah. Uh, so um, it does still. Um, work <laughs> work as in it, it allows you to um uh, uh still play the game i mean let me um This one over there. <coughs> uh, the tower. Where is that? Screw it, doesn't need it. It's fine. Is that on? Switch. Oh, hang on, hang on. Gonna go in there. <laughs> uh, so it uh, still works. So return to server window, not uh, not sort of NMI. Um, no, because the PPU would refire that the NMI. Yes, the ROM card works because of a switch on the side of it. Yeah, flick the switch. So, I mean, um, turn that guy back off. Okay, so buttons work, right? Flick the switch. 
No, buttons are working now? Wait a minute. Hold up. This wasn't working the other... Okay, player two doesn't work. Player two not working. Click back off. Player two works now. The hell is going on? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so if I turn it off, put the switch to on, turn it back on. Unexpected. Uh oh. I don't know what that was. <laughs> what? Yeah, turn it on and it doesn't want to do anything. Turn it off and it immediately when it starts working. Yeah. Something constantly right, uh, overriding the address where the P2 controller is connected. I mean, possibly. It's possible? I guess? I don't know. I, I won't know until I, uh, I do some shenanigans with this. Um. Huh? Can you not? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave that off for now. It's starting to act a little weird. I probably have a loose connection somewhere, which nothing is screwed in. So fine, fair. Let's, uh... yeah, come on, uh -oh. come on, get off of there. Thank you. Something's probably loose. It's fine. It's fine. Where does the touchpad output go? Into the I.O. board. And then from there, I don't know. Plugs into this guy, the I.O. board. This guy right here. Um, so the front panel board connects to that guy right there, on the, on the end there. These two uh, go to the main board. Um, not the other way around. Then I've got these two guys here are controller ports. You got the expansion port on the front. And then this other connector on the front, this guy right here, that is what the uh, touchpad ribbon cable plugs into. Right here or there. Actually, why am I showing you this? I have, I have a picture of this stupid thing. It's right over here somewhere. Yeah, this literally, it's this right here. This right here. Um, uh, no, there. So, uh, so yeah, these two uh, wires down here go, go to the main board. Um, Player one, I think, is the uh, is the smaller one. Player two is the bigger one. Uh, this right here is the connector for the um, uh, for the touchpad. Behind my head over here is the connector that goes out to the uh, the little button board. I don't know what the hell most of this stuff is over here. Like this crap here. Like these just look like jumpers. They don't look like um, resistors or anything like that. They just look like, look like wires. I don't know. Label with uh, FB. FB 207, 8, 9, 10, 12. I don't know. 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 11, 200, 201, 202, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 4, 6, 5. What the fuck? Huh? And those go all directly into the um, the expansion. So I don't know. I don't know what the hell these are. Fuses? I mean, maybe they, uh, they're on the um, 
a bunch of the controller pins as well. Not all of them, but a few of them. Uh, player one has three. Player two has four. Oops. Not here. Uh, on the back of the board, it's it's these guys right here. They go right into the expansion um, slot. Ferret beads mostly. For uh, interference, then? Static protection? Yeah. Diodes? I don't think they're diodes. Yeah, there's a bunch of resistors around them. I don't know. Black with a white ring. I mean... I wouldn't say white. There's like some gray, maybe? It's hard to see. It's impossible to see in these. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's, and there's a capacitor on the back of this thing. What is that on? That's on uh, this chip right here. Yeah. Pins uh, two and three. So uh, these two pins right here, it's on. No. No, there's no labeling on these. Um, and there's two of them on each. On each, there's not just one. So there's it's on either side. Right, it's like it's like a little bridge kind of thing. I don't know. Ferret beads. Okay, I can believe that. Yeah. 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 A few transistors here and there. Looks loose. Maybe. Not loose to the touch, anyway. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, so as you can see, my, my phone camera quality is trash. Um, so, uh, yeah, like, I can't even see what the hell this up here is, right? Like, I can't read that value at all. Not that I know the colors for it, but I, I it's illegible. Illegible. FB number. Yeah. I suppose. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I was talking to my sister the other day, or texting my sister. Um, she's a uh, photographer. She does, like, weddings and shit. Um, so I'm like, hi, I might be in the market for a camera, like a real one this time. <laughs> I need recommendations? In comes a massive chunk of text. She has some recommendations, to put, put, <laughs> put it simply. Aha! Aha! Uh -huh. This right here. That's exactly what it looks like. I zoom in and it gets smaller. How dare you? Yeah, it looks like this. Minus the um, the glue on the inside. But yeah, it looks like this. Right here. Never had someone uh, working in the field for recommendations. You either get nothing or too much. <laughs> well, no. So I have a very specific use case. And I'm like, hey, here's my use case. Here's my price range. What do you think? So she came back with some, 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 some helpful information, which is what I was expecting, which is nice. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, do you, is, does, a, does weight matter? Do you need something lightweight? Or are you worried about low light? I'm like, no. No, I'm going to be using a tripod. I've got box lights. I might be getting more of the LED panels because I really like that thing. Low light's a non issue for me. It's like, well, okay. <laughs> 500 bucks for a macro lens. Actually, I'm looking not at a macro lens, but at a. At a uh, telefocal, kind of. Um, 
like a zoom lens. Uh, the idea being, if I'm if I use a macro lens, I'm getting close to it, right? Um, and I don't want the distortion. I don't want the distortion. I want to like have the camera far away, zoom into the thing optically, right? So I can get it as like face on as possible. Now, uh, use case matters. I think uh, you'll be uh, termed macro photography. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, there's there's like the, the two kinds of macro photography, right? Photography. Uh, there's one that's like I actually use the phrase glamour shots. I told my sister I'm I'm not taking glamour shots of this shit, right? Um, it's for like archival and like research and all that kind of stuff. Right? Enhance. That's what it's for, right? Um, so I want to be able to see everything clearly. It doesn't need to look fancy. I need to see everything clearly is what I need. And uniformly, right? If you've got a macro lens, um, you're not really getting, you're like, like focused in like on like one chip or whatever, right? And that chip, sure, that, that one's, and that one's perfect. But the rest of them like are the distorted or out of focus or whatever. No, I want that. No, 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 no weird like Dutch angles or whatever. No, 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 no. Clear but wide focus. Yes. Yeah. So, in order to get that, you get far away from the subject and you zoom in. <laughs> zoom in optically, not digitally, because fuck that. Optically zoom in. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking at some cameras. I might buy one in a, in a, in a few days' time. Maybe this weekend. Fuck it. <laughs> um... But yeah, so because I took all these pictures, and I'm like, I, I got them on on on. I didn't even need to get them to the to the computer. To realize that these pictures are dog shit. Like they're just, it's just crap. Like I can't see details on most of this, right? Like this one isn't terrible, terrible. I can see numbers. I cannot trace stuff on this. I, I can't. I, you can't. You cannot trace this. Um. By the way, the uh, the the switch coming off the thing. That's uh, this pin right here. Goes over here, and then, like, yeah. Fo try and follow this trace. Where does this trace go? Can you do it? I had a hard time looking at the board doing this. Can you do it, looking at this? Can you see where it goes? Anybody have any guesses where it goes? Originally, I thought it went under here. It doesn't. <laughs> I thought it, like, snaked up underneath here somewhere. And like connected to this stuff over here, it doesn't. It, go, it goes uh, over this way, under here, and then right to number one. Yeah, right to number one. Um, yeah, the uh, the silk screen is helpful, but it doesn't really help too much when you're trying to trace something out. You cannot see underneath the silk screen for these uh, these pads here. No. But yeah, so this one is fairly legible, right? Uh, this one, I mean, that gets a little hard. Is that an LH? What the hell is that? I guess it's an L -L LH5? LHS? What the shit is it? This, you cannot see. I mean, I know, I know what it is. Like, that says Nintendo. You can't read that as Nintendo, though. Do it from that photo, but not very easy. Yeah. Um, can't read any of the values on this stuff. Right? Yeah. Well, you can get yeah, you can guess it. I, I know what this chip is. It's the MMC one B one B one, right? But I know that I know that's what it is. But is that is that what that looks like? That does not look like a C. It looks like a backwards D. You know. But yeah, everything's muddy. And it's just that. Like what is it? Is that a G? What the hell is that? This is one of the uh, the special chips on there, I think. I haven't I haven't looked at that. So there so there's a few chips on here that aren't on a on a on a bog standard Famicom. So these two are standard. These two over here. Uh, obviously the the CPU PPU are standard. Well, semi standard. Uh, these two are standard on on a main on a on a Famicom. These chips over here are I think these are inverters maybe I forget. Um, and. I, th I, th I thought there was like one more chip. It might have been this one over here. But everything else, uh, these guys, that's that's something special. 
This guy is special. This guy is special. This guy is special. Um, these knobs certainly aren't there. No. Canon 500D, my uh, parents play. It's pretty uh, cheap cam, too. Not sure uh, if it's still even for sale. Uh, yeah, my, my sister recommended a Canon. Uh, so I'll probably be getting one of those. Yeah. Um, I looked at prices, and it's roughly 500 A little more than that. 600 sometimes. Uh, for something used off of eBay. And that's just the camera body. I'm looking at another 500 or so for uh, the lens, I think. <laughs> and my sister's like, okay, well, you'll probably want this lens and not this one if you're doing this or that. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, probably. But, like, what's the worst case? I can always buy more lenses. And she's like, okay, fair. <laughs> These days, DSLR are uh, pretty much always either Canon, Nikon, or Sony. Yeah. Uh, this by the Switch looks like a 7404, which is, an, is a hex inverter. This guy here? The uh, 74HCU04? Hmm. I'm not sure what that means in this, in any context, really. I'm not really a a um, hex of six inverters. Oh, okay, so it just inverts the inputs to the outputs, right? Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's seven pins on, on either side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven pins. No. Oh. Unless it needs uh um like power and ground or whatever. Uh plus the inputs and outputs. No. Oh. Worst case is running out of space to store the lenses. Yeah, power and ground. Yeah, okay. Yeah, power and ground. It's always power and ground. But and yes, I have replaced that capacitor. Uh, that spicy boy is no longer on there. That spicy boy. God. <laughs> we'll come back to that in a second. Um, yeah, this guy right here. He's no longer there. He's, he's no longer on the board. I got rid of him. I got rid of him. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, this is the nightmare that's on the back of that board. Like, what the hell is going on here? More of the ferrite cores. That's, 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 that's one right there. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know if that's another one. I don't. That's, it's not the same style, certainly. More crap of that, like that over here. This this one looks like it is, just like you know, bent out. Um, I don't know what the hell that is. Some capacitors, some resistors, the diodes. Another capacitor there. All right, that is a capacitor, right? The green one. Probably another resistor. Maybe another capacitor. I don't even know. I can't even. I can't even make it out in this picture, right? Oh, well, that's another oscillator? I don't know. You'd know you, you, would, you would be able to recognize that more than I would, I think. What's this connecting to? So the crystals are over here somewhere. I think there's the, the that's these two right here. I think these are the crystals. These guys here? The art of the boat, right? Yeah. Um... And this guy right here, this this resistor, this little bastard right here, um, this guy is coming off of a pin into a um, into a via that goes into the middle layer. He's the most powerful hacker of all time. Thank you for the anonymous the uh, anonymous to get this. I appreciate that. Yeah, someone built that. Yeah, someone did that. Someone did that. Um. But yeah, this board is all kinds of jank. Like even, even, where is it? Even the button board. All right, this is what the, uh, this is what it used to look like. Oh, Ooh. hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So yeah, that nastiness is what the touchpad used to look like. This is now what it looks like. And yes, it does still work. Yeah, like you handle that and it, sh it flakes off. Like after this picture, I had, you know, rock candy all over the place. Yeah. So it made sand crystals wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> the, X parts are, the X parts are typically crystals. Mm. Yeah, for those things. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was I saying? 
Why did I want to come over here? Oh, right. Because so. So you see that there's two spots for capacitors, right? C100, C101. C100, C101. Now, I only realized this the other day when I was mapping this board out. Let me uh, go over to this one. C1, C100, C101. There's pins in all four of those. There's only one capacitor. Someone snipped the other capacitor off the board. It was soldered into place, and they went, nope, snip, snip. Be fine. Yeah. I don't know what that uh, yellow stuff was. What in the um? Over here. That's just another like board. <laughs> That's just like bare PCB. I don't know what this crap is though. Probably probably the entire thing. Then had uh, an eco come by and remove it. Yeah. On the touchpad. Oh, that yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what that was. Um, it looked like a, a, a protective layer. That's what it looked like, you know? Um, that just literally flaked off. Like, I took a uh, wooden chopstick and gently scraped the stuff off. Came off incredibly easily. Incred like, no pressure whatsoever, practically, you know? Um, it was, it was uh, excited. To, to leave this thing. Um, plug it back in, it still works. So I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this is what it does um, uh, character rec recognition with. It's better than nasty, ha nasty hanchies. Yeah. So this, this is weird shit going on. There's, yeah, so there's, there's two two sets of wires that connect to the, the main board to the video board. I guess, like, some of this is, is control stuff from over here. And this one, I think, is video. Because these look like twisted pairs. All of them in here. Yeah. Will you get a screen protector or something to put, it, uh, put on it to replace it? I mean, I could. I absolutely could. I don't see a harm in doing that. Yeah. I don't know. Cause cancer in Cal everything causes cancer in California. All right, <laughs> absolutely everything. Um, but uh, but yeah, there's all kinds of weird stuff going on with this with this thing. No, yeah. bunch of little knobs to adjust here and there. This this is the video board, by the way. Um, but uh, yeah, fascinating device. Research causes cancer in rats. <laughs> But yeah, fascinating little little device. Well, not it's not very very little, honestly, but fascinating device. And these guys, this this TP whatever, that wasn't populated. There was never anything plugged into that. And there's also another uh, TP plug on. Ignore that on this guy over here somewhere, right there. I think is the TP plug. Again, unpopulated. Nothing ever went there. Test points, perhaps. What kind of test points do you think? Not JTAG, right? Think it'd be JTAG in there? <laughs> uh, did you ever figure out uh, what chip Dipper is uh, happy with? I, I didn't try again after um, after that after uh, the other night. I mean, we, we can pivot and try and try and do some stuff with that. Anything you can measure with a scope probe? Hmm. Maybe. No way. Yeah. No way. JTAG. Yeah. Top of needs to go somewhere. Um, so, Archiboots has the cheap scope that I ha that I own. He's got it somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I'll see if I can get it back. Um, or 
I might just use this opportunity to get a logic analyzer. How, how much are those? Logic analyzer. eBay. Ten bucks? No. No. What? What? Also, my chip reader has one of those things. I don't think this thing's a logic analyzer, honestly. I think it's th that that has something to do with um, the other chip thing. But... Do you want a logic analyzer or a good logic? Yeah, I want a good one. Um, not ten dollar one. I know. I know. I know it needs to be more than ten dollars. Ah. Ah, uh, Stephen. How you doing, Stephen and Delco? Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. How's stream? Be boop. Be boop. How you doing? Um, Ro Rosuave? Rosuave. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Probably not. Welcome. How you doing? What are you guys working on? Oh, this was sixty dollars. USI stock. It's so uh, this is incredibly shady to me. USI stock. How much you want to bet that if I were to order this, it'd come in a box covered in Chinese? How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet it'd come in a box like this? This is covered in Chinese. <laughs> Fellow coder and tinker. Yes. So um, I I am distracted right now. Uh, but behind all this stuff, disassembling and reverse engineering, uh, this thing, a, uh, tape drive monstrosity for the Famicom, um, in the back kind of off screen is a titler, um, which is a weird Famicom, um, you're paying extra for the USA flag on the ad, yeah, I mean, I, that, that, where, where the hell is it? This looks incredibly cheap. Um, I don't think I'd trust it. Um, honestly. I, I don't think I'd trust it. Honestly. Yeah. There's nothing but words made. Oh, yeah. USA stock. Not made in USA. USA stock. But they put the, the flag on there, which I notice has um, the white lines replaced with transparency, um, which is not the flag. Sh whatever. Fine. I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. Um... 300 for logic analyzer. Water quality. No. Not a water quality analyzer, damn it. I don't know. But maybe I'll use it, use it as an excuse to get a cheap uh, analyzer. Oh. Oh, okay. This. Why was this still up, you bastard? It's one of these, though. I think I may have seen... These are something similar um, advertised. Yeah. yeah. This guy, though, is going to be, like, really low uh, low speed, I think. Hundred 100 M max sample rate. 100 million max? What does that mean? Huh? They show us the software. He best eBay sell it, right? Potion seller. Quality. The best flag render right there. All the JPEG artifacts. I wouldn't go uh, purely by press for something like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like th this. No. I, I, I know that's too cheap. I know that's way too cheap for anything, for anything you know, worth it. Another one. Dispatched from the U.S. Dispatched from the U.S. Huh? So what, what, what is this? Why? No. Do you see this? Do you see what I'm seeing here? The O, the G, the A, the other A, and the E. Do you see what's wrong with those letters? Do you see what's wrong with those letters? Do you see it? <laughs> Can't even commit to it, right? <laughs> but 
they didn't remove the, co the background color on the inside of the letters before putting it on the sticker. Same thing with the, the, the four and the eight. Some lazy motherfuckers. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this photoshopped? Oh my god. Because this one's fine. You sneaky fuckers. You sneaky bastards. Made Microsoft Word, yeah, right? Made Microsoft Word. Oh, yeah. So this is this is what I got here. This one is more expensive than the one I have. Um, see, you can see the, uh, the touchpad isn't nearly as bad. This one is allegedly just for parts. I'm not paying $800 for parts. Um, that ain't happening. One of those supposed to be a different color. It's a decent enough condition, though. I'm still not paying that much for parts, though. Goodness. I, no. I, I already have one. I have one now. It's fine. <laughs> but just analyze her. <laughs> Alright, we're fine. We're fine. It's fine. We're fine. Um. I had $200 this thing. It's sold. It's like Australian 12 one. Are you from Australia? Uh, if it's for parts, why do I think they can charge $800? Because it's, um, because apparently people that usually buy the titler, they get it to rip out the PPU in it and put it in a different, in a different, um, uh, Famicom. You are welcome. Um, because the PPU in this guy is an RGB PPU. So it's better than the rest. Look at the HP 1630D. Just don't buy one. All right. HP 1630D. $189. That doesn't sound that bad. I mean, it looks like it's from 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this connector? Oh, Jesus. Accessory power in a BNC connector? Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. They didn't even bought. They didn't even try. They didn't even try. What is this nonsense? HP IBS. <laughs> How about this one? This one, oh, hell. It's still a mess, but. Hewlett Packard. Oh, look at those buttons. Goodness. <laughs> and uh, Curious Mark. Curious Mark? We already wanted cables. Yeah. Texture has something similar. Hmm. What the hell is this? Milk analyzer? That's not a, lo a logic analyzer. What the hell? Milk analyzer. I'm assuming for like farms or some shit, right? Some dairy production crap. That ain't what I'm looking for. This one's got color. And a printer? Oh my god. X window. Wait a minute. Logic is kind of close to lactose. <laughs> oh. If Steve Milk can make a water computer, you can make a milk logic analyzer. <laughs> I don't think I want to, no. RS-232? Oh, my God. Mouse and keyboard. Oh, and a parallel. Oh, Jesus. Land BNC. Oh, God. How old is this thing? What year is it? Triggers. Oh, my God. <laughs> you already got that one. Yeah. I want something the century. Energy Star! Is there like a 486 in this thing? Got the handles on the side. Oh my god. You got enough fans on that? Jesus Christ! It's. It, yeah, okay. Yeah, a little. 
At least this one doesn't have fucking B and C land. So there's that, I guess. Celeron, okay. Three gigahertz. Okay. Not terrible, I guess? I don't know. We got Seda, onboard Seda, alright. I guess we can't before 86, yeah. Looks like a fucking microwave. <laughs> yeah. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> no! Ah! Speed on our logic runs hot. I could see that. <laughs> Not good ones, but memories. Yeah. Can you, I mean, probably it probably won't work with the software. But I mean, maybe I don't know. <laughs> they just have the product key. <laughs> they just have the product key in the in the picture. Wow. Final managed to emulate it. Oh, maybe I don't know. Actually, so the software for, for this guy right here, Wine couldn't even start the installer. The installer crashed. You can read the key. Steal it! I don't need to steal it. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, uh. <laughs> At least this one's... Okay, this one's better. But come on. Come on. When, is it, when XP keys can't be upgraded, can they? Um, I don't think so. What do you mean, well, what do you mean upgraded? To uh, to seven or whatever? I have no idea. Living your outhouse unlocked. <laughs> yeah. Does the XP uh, install need to be activated? Um, technically, yeah, but it's trivial to bypass. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, when seven pro keys can be upgraded to work all the way up to eleven, really. Uh, these things are designed to attach to every pin on a 32-bit CPU bus. Or wider! Yeah. Yeah. Hence the uh, the mess of wires out on this thing. Actually, wait, where the hell do they plug in? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think got USB on the front. Okay. A bog-standard motherboard connections. Trigger in, trigger out, clock in. Power. There's no cards in it. Where? Oh, it's on the other side. It's on the other side. Got it, got it, got it. There they are. There they are. There it is. There it is. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, for a while, they would work with a 10. Oh, might be wrong, uh, wrong or outdated. But the upgrade thing, I lost that one still in support. Mm. Even has PCIe exp expansion slots. Yeah. Um, I wonder if I can program it to eat up my food. <laughs> I mean, if you do it wrong enough, probably. <laughs> if you're determined and you do it wrong enough, anything can heat up your food. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I need, I need to not look at these on stream because I'll end up buying something. Um, <laughs> uh, honestly, I'll probably go check uh, what's some Twitch, YouTube, Electronics Pro uh, I follow recommends. Yeah. Seen Logic Analyzers used before. Can't quite remember what they uh, were called, though. Mm. Yeah, same. I, I remember seeing some of them, but I just. I, yeah, I don't remember. I, just, I don't remember. No. I don't. I kind of want to try getting the ROM off that chip again. Can I can I switch to that? Can I switch to doing that? Trying to figure that out. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I need more space. Um, you can't use one seven eight keys for eleven, or you can no longer use them for ten. Yeah, I, I I knew it was like a limited time thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Honestly, like, so I have a Windows 10 VM, literally, like, just for this kind of shit. Um, have you checked that your reader actually supports that ROM chip? Uh, I don't know. That's a, that's the thing. This was this was under a hundred dollars. This here, so whatever. Um, you can, however, get a ten percent discount on your latest kernel upgrade price. <laughs> uh, let me. Uh, so I have to I have to run this in virtual box, right? Um, because the Linux support for this is almost non-existent. It's there, kind of, but I don't think it works very well. Uh, I didn't get it to work with this, uh, so I have to run this in ten. Um, sorry, over here. I, I'm using um, uh, what's it? USB pass through on the thing. Upgrading this was a, was a pain because updating the firmware on this was a pain because uh, it changed how this thing identified. Originally it was this, xgenshu.com, and then it changed it to this. The hell is that? Half the characters don't even render. So flashing the firmware like kind of broke. Oh god, is it? Oh, oh god. Uh, your fingers aren't talking. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> you should see to that. What? Get the nothing. Yeah, there was another. Get the nothing. Yeah. Why is it? Why is? Why is the? Why is the aspect ratio screwed up? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, well that wasn't right. Is this not gonna? No, did it break that? It broke. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. That's better. That's what I wanted. All right. Here. Plug this in. Turn that on. And take the chip, this chip out. I had it in there wrong anyway. Okay. Open this up. Yeah, nothing I can read. That's for sure. Especially because half the characters don't, you know, show up. Uh, let's see. Device. No. System self self check. Remove the chip. Remove the chip and hit check. Fantastic. This was failing before, um, because the firmware stuff like didn't work. Um, so, uh, this guy is that AM whatever the hell, right? Now, this one will work, right? Read it. Yeah. Uh, read. Yeah. Oh, because... Don't check the ID. Just trust me, bro. It's, it's, this, it's this chip. Trust me. Why does this look weird? It's like being cut off the bottom there. Don't check that. Don't don't check that. Just read it. Just read it. Shut up. Just read it. There we go. So it does work, right? Source. Trust me, bro. Right. Um, so this this is a um, BIOS ROM off of an old uh, 46 uh, motherboard that I've got. Um, the the board is shot. It's it's corroded to hell. Um, uh, seven inch HMI touch screen, which I use to attach as an additional display to my laptop. Oh, okay. Uh, so I had a command alias to enable it with extra and then map the touch screen only that display with X input. Ooh. But the alias looks horrible because I have to include the input device name. Ugh. So I've actually got a, um, uh, a teleprompter up there. Um, and that is using. Um, you know, I think it also is a seven inch. I used to have a five. I have a five inch somewhere. That was too small. So I swapped it out for a seven inch. I think it's a seven inch. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm using over there. Uh, and so I can like, you know, flip, flip the image and get it up there. So I've got chat up there as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, getting that to work, figuring that out was kind of a pain. Uh, and trying to figure that out for like a Windows system, impossible. Doesn't work. Doesn't happen. Right. You can't do that in a Windows system. <laughs> 30 days on third cheap. How you doing? Um, uh, Tommy Roto? How you doing? Welcome. Um, but yeah, so I was able to figure it out with, with, with Linux. I updated, I upgraded my, my, my stream, stream machine, popped in a, um, an, a, uh, 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 NVIDIA card 
and forgot to install the drivers. Debian didn't like that. <laughs> I'd get one screen working, the other one would turn off. It's like, oh, cool, neat. How do I fix this? The fix was to install the NVIDIA drivers. Well, that's that's how that worked. Um, and paste my life would be a wall of text. <laughs> Fair, fair. All right, let's, uh... Okay, so, hang on. Grab this here. All right, let's pull the chip off. There's the chip puller thing. This, and gently... Grab onto it. Makes me nervous. Oh, that made me nervous. Nothing's bent. Good. All right. So, this guy. So, this chip configuration ain't going to work. That ain't, that's not going to work. Um,. The chip that it is, is not listed here. However, that's all I wanted. All right. God damn it. What the hell was the one I used the other day? Or tried to use the other day? Actually, I, I, I did that as a custom, didn't I? Oh, that's in the... That was in the, that was in the fucking song. God damn it. Um... So okay, so I can I can have custom chips, right? I don't know how to configure the fucking things in this program, right? It's not even right, is it? Hang on, it doesn't have enough pins on the stupid thing. That's why it didn't want to work. I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's two pins short. It should be 20 on either side. Um, so that ain't right. All right, where's the um, help? Help! It should be a PDF. No, I don't want to update Firefox. Dismiss! So it should be 20 on either side. Right. Right, right. Okay, so. Software install. No. Reflash firmware. That's what kind of broke things earlier. What is this? Uh, quick start. Okay. Sorry for the flashbang and all this stuff, by the way. Um, there we go. So can you control scroll? Thank you. Um... Make sure the universe program is just, uh, yeah, okay. Select the IC button, just select the, uh, select the dialogue, uh, search IC, to the model, yep, doesn't exist on there. Select the correct manufacturer if there, uh, if there are more than one. Yeah, okay, so that's like the one that already exists. However, I should be able to customize that stuff. Program a new chip, I don't want to program anything, I want to dump a chip. I don't want to program, I don't care. Program a function details, I don't care. Um, select IC. Okay, I want the IC by user, I think. So auto detect, I want that. Project is encrypted. <laughs> Why? Um, honestly, be very careful doing custom stuff before actually trying it, uh, since putting power into the wrong pins can fry a chip. Yeah. So I know the pinout of the thing. Because it matched up to. Come on, where are you? This. Mash up to this. I traced out uh, the address lines. I think. I traced out. I certainly traced out the uh, the, the data lines. Um, I. I think I traced out a few of the address lines as well. Uh, a bunch of them going to the MMC. Um. The MMC one chip. Um, the grounds make sense 
uh, bite is selected. That's that's hard selected. That's um, soldered in. Um, there's traces coming from CE and OE, going God knows where. Um, so I'm fairly confident that this right here is the pinout of this chip. Is that the name of the actual chip? No. If not, can you read the name? Yeah. Um, do I have a picture of it, actually? I have a picture of it. I have a clear picture of it. That's the question. All right, there. X one two five. Yeah. Now, let me hang on. Let me get a better, better picture of this. Give me a sec. Let me uh, not that one. I'll draw that for now. I don't know how it will react when I unplug this thing. Come on. Right, Put a boom. Let me get a better picture of this. Discord. Come on. Over here. And then hardware. This is the chip. Well, a quick Google search suggests it's a Famicom titler. Who knew? <laughs> right? <laughs> Who knew? That would have guessed. <laughs> oh. But uh, but yeah, so this thing does um, look like it 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 um, pins out to all this right here. Ah. Uh, I've traced out the, the the data lines that go to the cartridge. They go directly to, to, to the cartridge uh, on the lines I would, I would expect. Um, reference guide. Uh, pinout. Cartridge. Um, the CPU data lines on this side over here. D7 through D0 or D0 through, through 7. Um, Probably map out these two, the, these guys as well. But I mean, you know. I got the uh, the ground. I've confirmed ground and power. I've confirmed. Print our name on the chip. So fuck you. Yeah, basically, basically yes. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but so if I try reading this thing, all right. Bum bada bum. If I try reading it, it doesn't give me any data. So, uh, what was that chip? Oh, that, the other one. Not this. MX27C410. All right, 27C41. Fuzzy. Uh, two, oh God. 27C41. Uh, and a dip 40, so I think this one here. Right there. Ziff 40. This guy. All right. 8 bits there. Size that matches what I expect this ROM to be. All right. 520K roughly. Um, turn down the delay all the way down to a, th a thousand microseconds. Is that US micro? I don't even know anymore. I never know. Um, don't check the ID, because go to hell. Um, do not skip blank. Mark is yeah. Was this one millisecond of delay? Um, all right, so we're just going to read it. Read. Back. Nada. It does have some, you know... 
Zeros and F 80s in, in, uh, sprinkled about. But, like, this ain't it. This ain't it. You gonna get some lunch, right? No worries. No worries. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Um. So my question is, do I have the rest of these voltages correct? Do I need to try all of the different um pulse delays? Let's try that one. No change. Curiously, I'm getting the same uh, the same output on uh, this one and on this one. What should I set the VCC uh, current max to? 120, 120 milliamps? I don't know. I don't know what the rating on this stuff is. What's the rating on this guy? Uh, AM27C4096. C four C four zero nine six. Um, yeah. 277 C4096. Uh, VCC is the only voltage we care about. VCC verify. That one there? No. Single 5 volt power supply. 5 volts. All right. Typical program time of 32 seconds. Wow. Well, for, you know, this other thing. Speed options as fast as 90 nanoseconds. That's faster than I can uh, read it, I think, or the pulse it, I think. Micro is is larger than nano, right? I don't know. Really erasable. Okay, it's not UV erasable, but whatever. Yeah, no. Fifty six K words operates a single on a single five volt supply. I think is what VCC, yeah. Um, if you use a 16 bit micro processor system, the device is available in, in a windowed yeah, and plastic one, one time programmable PDIP and PLCC packages. Typically accessed in less than 90 nanoseconds, uh, allowing high performance microprocessors to operate without wait states. The device offers separate output enable and chip enable controls, thus limiting bus contention in a multiple bus microprocessor system. Just provides high speed lower power. Okay, so it needs the 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 chip enable and the output enable. Is it not getting? Is it not passing those in? I mean, it should, right? You think it would? You know what the pin detect thing thing does? Take it down to twenty five on the delay. I don't think the delay is the issue, but read. Still the same. Nothing. Nine seconds is nine nine seconds is fast for for a ROM, but slow for SRAM. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of odd for it to use a 16-bit ROM chip since 6.2 is only 8-bit uh, on on data bus, right? Um, yeah, but uh, so there's the where is it? Where's my the byte pin right there? That guy. That's grounded. Um, that's grounded outright. Uh, Do 
that is a different pinout. That's a different pinout. Just lied to me. Okay. What is this one? <laughs> did I do that? Did I do what yesterday? I could put the jumpers uh, to an Arduino and, and dump by hand. I don't have one available. I do have that list of uh, candidates from the other day. Uh, if, if it's on Discord, I would. Um, I haven't scrolled out to it yet, though. It's like C40 instead of C41. This one is C400. Right, so let's let's have a look at that data sheet. Okay, this thing can go away. Um, okay, so let's have a look at this guy. Oh Jesus, this is barely readable. Five volt, fast access time, hundred nanoseconds. Okay. Uh, 8 or 16. Okay. Uh, page 2. This is... This is the pen out. Alright. We got the uh, the data bits in, uh, interleaved. Yeah. This is the pen out I'm looking for. No, this one. Yeah. This is what I want. <sighs> Dip. Oh god. No, 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 no. I don't want the I want the ziff. Oh no, it is um No it's dip, right? I don't I, I I'm not using that fucking thing though. Right? Why is that? Why? 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 I don't even have this adapter. PLCC44. Do, do I? No. So it's these things right here. These guys. These, like, extra things that you put on top. Right? I don't even think I, oh, I have that one. There. Um, dip forty, PLCC forty four. Yeah, let's go here. It doesn't. It doesn't have the socket on it. But yeah, it's it's got pins on the bottom of it, so it fits into the into the ziff, right? I'll try it. I'm gonna try it. See what happens. Read. Pin detect error. Hmm. I don't want to check ID. Pin detect error. Really? Is it trying to look for the um for this bullshit? Look at it. It's looking for this. This right here. I don't want that. I want the dip. At dip 40. That guy there. Don't check ID. Fuck you. Read. Read. Pin 39. Address 9. That's what that should be. Pin ISP 1, ISP 3, 6, 8. What the hell is ISP? Right, right? 
Is it looking for the stupid adapter? Is that what it's looking for? Because I don't have that adapter. It didn't, they didn't give me that adapter, this fucking thing. What the shit? Is the ISP the, uh, the, the shit out the, out the, out the side of it? If you can do a fully custom reset, it might be easier to do that. I can't figure out how to do that. So, okay. Um, stop that. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, add IC by user. All right. New IC. What the fuck is this? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to delete that. All right. Sharp. Yeah, that. that Device ID. Who cares? Um, I don't know what the hell that is. Reference, okay, well, it's, it's back. Select add IC by user. Manufacturer. Sharp. Um. X, one, two, one, two, five, two, C, E, E. <laughs> Add new. Now what? Save modify? I just, yeah, this is just, huh? Like, what? How do I change the pinout of this fucker? How do I do that? I don't know. I don't know what the hell this one is. Not the right one. Okay, so self-test, sure. Firmware bullshit, sure. Edit buffer, sure. I don't care. Fill, no. Copy, no. Go to address, no. Fill blank. Pin detect. Before operating the software automatically checks that the chip, uh, chip pins are in good contact. The web program reading errors caused by the uh, by poor pin contact in most cases. For very few chips, the pin detect may fail. You can temporarily uncheck this option, pin detect, while ensuring that the pin contact is good. In that case, no pin detection will be performed before reading or writing. Blank check ID. Make sure it's an internal identification mark. I don't care. In other words, uh, two more bytes. Generally, the first byte is the manufacturer. I don't care. Address range. You can select the address range. All of it. Auto send. I refer to uh, sending the sooner. I don't want to do that. Nope. Okay. So this is selecting one that's already in there. I don't care to do that. Program. I don't want to program. I don't want to erase. I don't care about verify. Like, there, like I can't hit a config button over here. Serial number, I don't care. On the serials, I don't care. Program, I don't care. I really don't care. I don't think I care about that. I don't care about programming anything. Read programming race options. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. ESD settings. CSD, write protect. Analysis. Okay, well, well. Program. Uh, no, I don't want to program anything. Program new IC. Done by one key. Don't need to make any other settings. Just the sensors. No, 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 no program. No, 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 no program. Jesus, I ain't doing that. Else, I don't want to do that. I don't want to program anything. Tracks over NAND. Configure stuff. Customize NAND parameters. Path assignment. Data access. No, no, no.
configure example. Now, another configure example. Now, copy from original chip. All right. Yeah, from the original chip. Copy to another new chip and then solder to the board. To ensure the chip will work properly, users need to pay attention to the following points. Copy chip configuration. Use the default settings for the program. Okay, some NAND functions. This isn't NAND, though, I don't think, right? Configuration options. More tools and shit. Ooh. VGA HDMI insert. What the fuck? What? No. Get out of here with that. I don't want any of that. Deep programming TV tools here. What? Serial printing? What the hell? Get out of here. Automatic identification. Ziff identification. Click the auto button in the toolbar as shown below. You think that'll work? Set the auto button. Auto. You bastard. It's more than 8 or 16 pins. Oh, God. Only for 8 or 16 pin VGH, you might. No, okay. No, that ain't what I want at all. Logic IC testing. No. Customized logic chip. No. Add customized chips. For chips that are not in the, so in the su software support list, there are many chips that have pro uh, programming algorithms fully compatible. Uh, not programming. I won't read. All right. New customized chips can also be used as favorites. Uh, sure. Um, text al algorithm. So in this, we can select the same type of chip. Below. One. Select. Two. Load file. No. We're not programming. Read. Check ID. Can I just do that? Check. What was the other one? I am... Uh, I am two... two no. Uh, two, two... God damn it. Two, four, C... Something. What the fuck? What the hell was it again? AM two seven C four. AM two seven C four hundred. ID check. Fuck you. No. No! <laughs> Enter model number. I don't want the model. I want the, like, the full... 41? I don't even come up. Oh, uh, MX twenty two seven C four one hundred. This guy still wants that fucking adapter. This shit software. I don't want a program flow chart. I just want to set the pins myself, damn it. <sighs> 
extra bits for the socket on the side? Hmm. Maybe? That's possible. That's possible, yeah. What's another MMC4 game that I can socket? I'm just going to turn this thing off. Shut down. I am never going to use these. Ever. Ever. Wait, I've also got... One of these fucking things. Attached to the side of a chip. Um, what the hell? What was the uh, um, NASCAR DB? Oh, it's NASCAR DB. Com is my name. All right, advanced search. Why can't I look for, um... No, what, what, why can't I look for a uh, mapper type? How the hell? There it is. Um, MC C1. One? Oh, INAS map. Uh, uh, the hell is that? Maybe one. Wrong chip. 1B1. Yes. Well, no. So, what I'm thinking. Is I just get another board, a cartridge that has that same mapper, rip out the chip on that cartridge, put in a socket. I have a, a nest dumper, a cart dumper, that I could plug the cartridge into and dump it that way. Um... <laughs> Do these have the same um, uh, map IDs? Ram is the name of the default. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay, well. What's the map ID on this? Map ID 1. Alright. There's a lot. Um, so I'd actually, I'd actually want. Can I get um? Series one. Hmm. CC type. Done. I don't mean, uh, the fuck are all these, though? Um, Famicom, right? There we go. One B2. I need one of these, basically. Well, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Shit! <laughs> I intend to design a setup to use the ports on the NES or Famicom to dump the ROM directly and saving it to a PC via v video recording. <laughs> I mean... So, I don't know what happens if I power the console on with a cartridge in the slot and this switch set to the onboard whatever. 
I don't know what happens. Probably won't like what happens, because it'll read from both of them. I'm assuming. I don't know. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Basically, they're doing a solution just Venus instead. Yeah. I don't know. I don't <laughs> but yeah, if I just had a um, another cartridge that had a 40 pin on this thing. Um, so I need a, a, a 512 um, size. Uh, uh, Inus Mapper 001. CSE non ROMs size uh, 512. Go. Really? You don't even have the right size fucking chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's a fucked up MMC one. Card drive might work by uh, was just connecting it directly to the ROM uh, using bridge wires. It might. Oh. Or. With this powered off and disconnected, a um, mail to mail essentially between this board and the ROM dumper. You think that'd work? That'd be hilarious. I'd have to figure out how to do that, but I need a hell of a lot of bojo wires for that. Assuming the dumper supports non-mapper carts. It absolutely does, because that's how I verified this guy. It's just Lua scripts. Um, it's just all Lua scripts. So you, you, you write an address and you read an address, kind of, right? You set an address and read it. Um, or read a chunk after setting an address uh, start or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's pretty straightforward uh, doing it. It's kind of a pain sometimes, but yeah. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, see, so yeah, none, none of these cartridges have the right size. I mean, I suppose I could... Well, let's go back here. God, I really wish it didn't reset this shit. PC uh No, I don't care. Mapper. 001. No, God damn it. 001. Uh, CSC Any. Size five, tw uh, f five, twelve. Yeah. No, that ain't right. Not there. Over here in the ROM. Five, twelve. Can I new window? No, I can't. Damn it. Build it on the copies uh, code to RAM, then have the code bit bang the ROM somewhere. Then change the switch uh, to the internal ROM and map. Uh, internal ROM is mapped and uh, can be read. I mean, maybe I don't you know. I don't know. I just added Dragon Warrior. That's all it did. I don't even think this is the right size. These are still aren't the right size. These are still the 14s, aren't they? Um. God damn it. Really? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Literally none of these are the right size. Huh? What? A 
18 bits of address. How much? How many? How much? How, what? Probably all use runs at six. Yeah, does need fewer pens. Yeah. What is that? Okay, that's uh. So I'm gonna go over to here. Hex. One. No. Decimal. B uh, binary. One. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. No, what? No. No, I'm not reading that right, am I? Hmm. Traces for the map of the ROM might be different depending on which ROM the chip has. Yeah, so just putting it on a second might not work anyway. Do the pen out. Doesn't work in the first place because I don't have enough pins! So that's just out the door already. None of these have enough pins. None of them. So I can't use a donor board. Because literally none of them have enough fucking pins. Eighteen addresses is two hundred fifty six eighteen address lines, two hundred fifty six K addresses. Two fifty six sixteen bit address, uh, 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 sixteen bit addresses. So that's how it does. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. So... Okay, so that might, might make sense why I, I, I didn't see the pins mapped out like I thought they would be mapped out for the, um... Um... For this guy here. The, the uh, the MMC. Um... Because it uses all the... It probably uses all the data, the data pins. If it's using that full 512. But it'd have to chop up each each 16-bit 16, uh, 16 word into 8-bit words. Right? 8-bit uh, bytes, whatever, right? For different ad addresses. Odd or even what have you. Oh, my God. And the banks might even be interleaved at that point, because that'd be easier to do. Isn't the byte selector hardwired uh, to byte mode? Okay, yes. What does that byte selector actually do, though? As in, uh, could we see that in the board trade-up? Yes. Ah, damn it. Son of a bitch. That's those two. It's grounded. Yeah. What the pin does? Yeah. It turns almost half of the data pins off and makes one of the. Oh! That's what that 15A1 is! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. So that's an address bit, address pin, not a data pin. Got it. Okay. All right. What side is that on? Um. I have no idea if that's wired up to Anthem. No idea. 
If it is, it's on the middle layer. Where would I even put that? So is, this, is that A minus one? I love that. A negative one because, of course, that's a thing. <laughs> I mean, sure. Uh, so that would that would wire it up to... Oh, I... Uh, not mappers. No, 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 no. I want pin out there. So that would wire it up to the CPU address. This right here. Uh, pin uh, pin 13 on the cartridge, right? Or the CPU address bus. Where's my... Okay, good. That works. Um, oh, good. They're actually numbered. Uh, <laughs> so I'm looking at... I'm looking for pin 13. All right, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Thirteen goes on to the middle layer. And, uh, uh, that's not the one below. Okay. That's what's on. Ah! Oh! It is. Okay. So yeah, that is wired up to uh, uh, 13. Address 0. Okay. So yeah, this right here is wired up to um, pin negative 1 or whatever the hell it is. Where the f Where was the readable one? That's not readable. This one. A negative 1. It's hooked up to that. Right there. Um... All right, so that makes sense, and then it turns off the rest of the 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 the, the high bits uh, for the data. Then, right? Hmm. That's on the other side of that. Uh, let's do that. Thirteen and twelve. Yep. Okay. That's uh, pin nine. Pin eight is the next one. Then seven. Uh, uh, six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Address 17. No, I want this one. That's the one. Pin 40. Then... Pin 39. Pin 38. And then the last one on pin 1 of the cartridge. No, that's a ground, <laughs> isn't it? That's ground on the cartridge. Um, that's ground. Uh, it's on the other side. This one? No, this one? Come on, this one? Really? Did I lose count where I was? Probably. Maybe those go to uh, the, the mapper or whatever. But, yeah. Eventually hit the point where the mapper comes into play. Yeah, I think that's uh, starting on pin 33 on the uh, on the cartridge. Yeah. Uh, probably goes to the mapper somewhere. Yeah. But, yeah, so we've confirmed uh, the rest of this pin out. Uh, at least these address lines. Um, up to, like, there. Up to A10, I think. No, 11. Address 11. 
which is a 10 um because minus one so yeah up to up to a 10 uh why a picture could actually work if you tie the bite pin to the ground and then find a chip that has 19 address lines plus eight data lines plus the control signals mm. a 10 on the chip yep uh a11 on the cpu correct yes because a minus one thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the rest of those look like they may, may actually go over to um, some mapper stuff. Because the mapper does, does go in there. I don't know. I, I can see it going over in that direction. I just don't I don't think I've been able to figure out which one it goes to specifically. These guys. Because some of these are, are, are traces I can actually see. But... Yeah, I've got, I've got like terrible connections on those. Do I have an Arduino? <sighs> Somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. Um, but yes, I do. Somewhere. Some. I'm not gonna. Buy, I'm not. I'm not digging for it tonight. That's for sure. Um, at least not on stream. Not while I'm streaming. Maybe. Maybe after stream, I'll dig for it. Um, have enough GPIOs for this? Maybe. Arduino. Let's have a look. Uh, I'll buy one. America, America. Um. All right. Can I? Uh, products. Okay. Come on. Stop that. Can Can I just like get a list of what they are? Boards and modules. Twenty bucks for one of these? Goddamn. Giga. That's not nearly enough. This guy might be enough. Ground, fifty some odd pins over there. Some more pins. Yeah, okay, this one's good enough. Analog pins. I want. I want um, digital pins, right? That's like twenty-five of them here. I don't know if that'd be enough. Would it be? I don't know. What the hell are these? Oh, and is there a um a five volt source on this? I don't think there's a five. This is all three volt. Oh, there is a five volt. Oh my god. You need about 30 digital I.O. pins for straight wire up. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're missing a few of them. Okay, yeah. Um, 53 minus 22. What is that? Is that 30? 50. How about you go over here? 53 minus 22 is 31. That'd like just be almost it. Giga R1. Wi Fi, even. This is with Wi Fi. I don't have one of these. I don't have one of that many pins on it. I know that much. Um, I've got one, I think, that's like that form factor. It's an older one, though. It doesn't have the lights on it. Uh, it's an older one. Um,. Yeah, I do have a Raspberry Pi somewhere. I don't think it works. 19 address pins, uh, 8 data pins, and actually the rest can be tied north or south. Hmm. Well. I don't know. No MCU. What the hell is that? Freaking chip. Um, Raspberry Pi. I've got like the Raspberry Pi like one, one or two hardware. I've got I've got one of the old ones. Can I like actually load the goddamn page, please? Thank you. I'll buy five. My God. Buy 
four model B. I've got like a, like, I don't think it's a two or the three. It might, it's either the one. They still sell these? I think it's the one, honestly. I think it's one of these. But it's not nearly enough pins, is it? On the, on the GPIO, yeah. From before they added the GPIOs? Uh, no, I think mine has the GPIOs. Before they're having 5-volt supply doesn't mean the GPIO pins do 5-volt. Yeah, so I should probably uh, check before you, you buy. Well, so this Arduino says 5-volt on, on this, on the pin. It's 5-volt. The original Model B has fewer GPIs than, than the B+. Plus. Mm. Yeah, I... Whatever, whichever one it is, I don't think it works anymore. Um, I tried powering it on a while back like for, for my, my teleprompter. And, you know. No, the next pin says 3. Yes. That one says 3.3, .3, but this one says 5. Right? So it should be 5. I have an oscilloscope. Uh, oscillosco I have a meter that I can check it with. Having 5 volt input. Oh, is that input? Color camera module. No. Three remote control allows to have two brain. Two brain talking to each other. Two brains. Um. Four URs. Yeah. Actually, you want to keep it the same format that Mega uh, and the do, so you can easily adapt your custom made shields uh, to the Giga R1 Wi-Fi. Remember, this board works at 3.3 volts, though. So okay. And we added extra headers, extra pins. So does it not do five? The board runs at three, sure. Can it provide five? Circuit operating voltage three. Okay. I need to provide my own 5 volt power. I mean, it says 5 volt out there, though. We only have 27 GPIO. <laughs> 18 addresses and 8 data is 26 IO. Well, don't forget the um, uh, power ground and all that kind of shit. And the chip enable. So I need uh, chip enable and output enable. So that's two more pins. Um, so what, 28? Plus power and ground? Ooh. Why are there so many grounds on this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight grounds? Why do you need that many? Just waste the pins. Why? Signal integrity? Fuck that. <laughs> like, it's not even consistent. Ground, pin, ground, pin, 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 ground. Or four, four pins. Ground, two pins, ground, three pins, ground. Get out of here with that. And then two five volts next to each other. And a three dot three volt. They have that five line for power. The rest of the ROM uh, pins have VIH about two V7. Tell I have the five. Hmm. I hate also limited to the amount of uh, current they can handle. Hmm. The zigzag pattern, I think, with those grounds. The voltage input high. I don't know what that means. Ah, the threshold for recognizing a one bit input. Got it. Correct. 
Ground, ground. What? Oh, no, that's three volt. Um, ground. Why? 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 That's not even really zigzag. Look what this just going on here. Advanced use only. What the fuck does that mean? The ID on the EEPROM? Still has enough pins, though. Not enough data pins. Where's GPIO 1? There's two? Where's one? Why are you starting at two? Two, three, four. Where the hell's five? Why you got a hundred for this? Five, six. Seven, eight. No. Who did? Why? Why? One and 28. Okay. <laughs> oh, and are these like the extra pins that like the lower models don't have? Earlier models? All grounds can actually the same point. Um, so only one is needed. The GPIO header contains several grounds, mostly for convenience. Uh, you could have several circuits attached to the RPI. Each would need to have a ground connection. Also can uh, cause problems if one ground is looped uh, from circuit to circuit. Problems if one ground... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Are these grounds isolated? Or are they just like, you know, pinned together or whatever? I, mean, I, th I think actually on here some of the, some of the grounds might, might be isolated. Or at least they've got capacitors across them. <laughs> yeah, the ground on the cartridge uh, has a capacitor to um, to the board ground. Well, those orange looking ones. No. Oh. Julio pin numbering uh, scheme is not in numerical or order. Julio pin 0 and 1 are present on the board. Physical pin 27 28. But are reverse for, ad for advanced use. Reserve for advanced use. Okay. So, so multiple use bits can be emulated using GPIO. Ooh. There's two power and two data pins. Hmm. If you have some resistors, you could probably uh, voltage divide the ROM up as down. Uh, Multiple sensors. All right, still. On well, the battery's connected to the main ground plane via a capacitor. The hell? So I'm pretty sure that's the main ground plane on the board. Other things are, are connected directly to it, like um, pin 21 of the chip. This guy, VCC. Uh, VCC, wait a minute. Is that not ground? That's labeled as ground on the, uh, the connector. It's pin 1 over here. But I was checking the v what the shit? Checking that via a capacitor. Wait, hang on. What the fuck? Oh, that's, that's no okay. I thought the other side of the battery was connected to the other side of the ground. It's not connected to a diode, and then the the middle layer and goes somewhere else. No idea where it goes. Over left and bottom right. Turn over here. And pin one. It's labeled pin one. I have it labeled pin one. Brown. I'm looking at the bottom of the board, so they are actually mirrored. So But it's it's silk screen on the bottom here. I'm I'm looking at pin one. 
And over here, pin 21, it's labeled pin 21. Like it's labeled on the on the board. So look at it this way. Yeah, then 21 is on is on the same side as 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 the picture, but yeah. Look at the bottom of the board, so everything's mirrored. I don't know. I don't know. Choice between a character and a ship, sorry, Mr. Red. Uh, the text diagram uh, is also being for the ROM. No, 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 no. The text diagram is um, is the cartridge. Yeah. Have come front. Have come back. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of this shit doesn't make sense. A lot of it doesn't make sense. Or the wrong chip, yet again. Well, no, because, so, for this chip, like, these address lines, up to 10 anyway, um, all go to where I expect them to go on the cartridge. The data lines, uh, where is it? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 all go to where I expect them to go on the cartridge. Um, this one goes to the ground plane. I think. Is it that one? One of them does. I think. Uh, but the bite is grounded. Uh, this guy, this address line, goes to where I expect it to go. Um, the chip enable and output enable are... Uh, do, do have traces coming off of them. I don't know exactly where they go, but they have traces coming off of them. It goes to the to the to the middle layer somewhere. Um, so I'm fairly confident that this pinout is correct. Fairly confident this pinout is correct. It just doesn't want to read anything. Ground the VCC. Well, okay. So I don't know if this is actually ground now. Honestly, now that I'm looking at it, because that's that's hooked up to the negative on the battery, the minus terminal on the battery. Um, via a capacitor. So it goes through a capacitor that also con that connects to that. There's a few other capacitors that like connect different parts of the board like that. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Goes to the ground, then it, uh, it can't be this pinout, assuming the chip works. Hmm. Going through a capacitor means it is connected. Oh, all right. Generally, decoupling caps. I don't know what, those, I don't know what that necessarily means, honestly. Jank. I need a map out the rest of this thing. God, that's disgusting over there, too. Jesus. Yeah. Anyway. Basically, local reserves of power for that particular chip, uh, so that the voltage dips doesn't uh, affect it as much. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This guy's got to be connected to um, to the RAM chips, right? Because uh, that's what the battery's for, is connected to the RAM. But it doesn't cause uh, as many voltage dips. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um, I think I'm going to wrap up. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I need to open up a bottle of sake, I think. I need to... I don't know. bed soon actually I'm tired um anyway yeah, so I didn't get as much done tonight which whatever that's fine that's fine well we, d well we did confirm the rest of this the rest of this pinout this pinout is correct um so that's cool uh <laughs> still can't read this fucker though 
So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can dig for my, my Arduino. Uh, dig it out, see which one it is. Um, see how many pins it's, uh, that, that, that it has. Probably not enough. I almost guaranteed not enough. Um, yeah, because it's an older one, and I, it's not it's not the big one. It's not that big $70 one. I know that much. I think that it is not, it's not this one. Um, uh, can you get uh, at the card numbers pins other than via the card edge connector? Yeah, it's a bare board. It's a bare circuit board. I absolutely can. Um, I'm not sure I'd want to solder to the thing. Cause I, my, I do not trust my solder skills that much, right? Um, and those those aren't being made anymore. And I've only got one. I don't, I don't think he's making them. Um, so I don't know. How, yeah. Got a breadboard and wires. I do, actually. I've actually got... Um, not at, at, at uh, arm's reach, but I do have um, solder breadboards as well. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I need to get myself a, a socket and some stuff. Yeah, no. Hmm. I wish you'd have to manually uh, select the bank you're reading. Um, yeah, I'm not too concerned about that because I mean that's that's what I've done. That, that I I did that kind of stuff with uh, with the um, the study box to verify um, the mapper layout. Um, and that was all like writing, writing address, uh, um, writing, writing, um, bank select shit. And then like, you know, writing some values to Ram, swapping the bank and seeing if the Ram, Ram values changed to what I, what I expected, you know? Um, so yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be comfortable doing that, um, on the software side anyway. Um, as far as, as far as wiring it up though, I don't, I don't know. Um, I have to figure it out either. Either Daisy, oh, not Daisy, but either um, wiring up to this guy while it's powered off, right? Like card, card edge to card edge somehow. I don't know. I suppose for that I could just get some uh, some um, some donor boards. <laughs> Maybe I can get some donor board somewhere. Um, and just, like, you know, make a jumper board, essentially. But, you know, even with the Arduino breadboard, you could manually uh, bank select. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Basically, connect the number address pins to the ROM address pins. Uh, similar for the data pins. Uh, ground always pins and apply power. It's like bank by wiring the high address pins. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just manually select the bank via wires. <laughs> I see exactly what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, um, would one of these be, uh, uh, uh character ROM or do you think it's all character RAM? I think these are both RAM chips. I know it has work RAM. I, I'm pretty sure it has work RAM. Cause it's got a battery in it. It has to have a uh, character ROM, a uh, RAM rather, because you can draw stuff on it, right? Both RAM chips, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you, you can select which characters you want on the thing. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I need a, I need to wrap up. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Um, I'm not going to bother rating anybody. Uh, I will be back on Sunday doing something. I don't know what. Uh, maybe more, more shenanigans with the electronics. I don't know. I need to figure some stuff out. I need to go digging for, uh, through some boxes. Um, see if I have some stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but, uh, but, yeah. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it as always. Um... I will see you guys on Sunday, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, you guys have a good night. Bye.